Okay, everybody, I believe we are live. Uh, welcome to another version of uh, Friday Night Bricks. Sorry about the delay. I just, uh, have, I'm frustrated with Zoom and uh, YouTube. I mean, I'm having to use multiple programs uh, to make this work. Uh, I have to go between two ver two things at YouTube and having to do Zoom and everything else. It's a, a very frustrating thing. Um, I'm, I apologize. It's just one of those things where, um, I don't know. I, I I wish it was easier. It used to be super easy. Snap. A snap of the fingers and Zoom was live. I mean, I don't know what they did, um, but I mean, it's 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 crazy. So uh, we're going to be in the, uh, we're using the stream here tonight. I'll be limited to six. Apologize. Kind of stinks. I really like the bigger, the bigger party, but until I can figure out, I'm at the I'm at the email both Zoom and, and YouTube together. I'm at to get emails from both, email them together so they can talk to each other and tell me how to do it. Figured it out last year uh, or last week, um, but I mean for some reason this week I just can't seem to figure it out. And I mean obviously it's one of those things where you can't you uh, it's one of those things where you can't seem to get. Um, it's something where you have, you're you're jumping around. It's like it's like I'm jumping, you know. It's like playing the shell game. You know, I got to go from one place to another place, another place, to another place. It's just you know. So uh, I'm frustrated, but uh, tonight's going to be just a backlog building episode, basically. Uh, I was hoping to do something different, but it's I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, so I brought a bunch of city sets. Um, I did bring a Lego Batman movie set. Um, so. Um, so it's one of those things where we'll see. Hopefully, I won't have too many people in the green room tonight. Obviously, it's Mother's Day edition. So if we have any mothers in and the, the female Eiffels that I sent out invites earlier today to try to make this work, uh, I will have to uh, bump people around a little bit. So, But, I mean, one of my sets is obviously the uh, – um, one of the sets is the boat that um, I got from Bricksmith from the, uh, the, the YouTuber – winter thing last year so I actually I brought I bought the other I have another one that uh, get, seemed to get mangled on the, the one of the Walmart shelves so I'll be building probably them together um, I have the city city police station that I won in bingo at Brick Fair New England a few years back some more boats so obviously the bad guys are gonna be in boats so I figured if the bad guys are boats and my police stations don't have helicopters I figured I'd bring some old police helicopters to build so I have those um, and then I have um, the uh, the the Batcave from the Lego Batman movie that was I, I think I won that at Brick World so so it's one of those things where so that's kind of my agenda tonight my desk is kind of a mess so we'll see Ferris wheel was built last week that is still kind of it's over here now so it's there um, but I do have kind of a do have kind of a mess so um but yeah so we're gonna do that uh so we'll probably start with the boats i guess probably what i'll start with and then uh i i obviously I, I got a package from cheap ass but i did not look at my instagram uh quick enough or at storage and so i did not pick it up from the post office I'll have to do that for either next week or do a special uh thing that's kind of nice i think the camera turned on you that's why it probably has that edging out there for you brian Lost some in some of the green screen, you know. Well, it does look like you're upstairs for the most part, for those except. Uh... Is that better? Well, I was gonna say it's uh, it's pretty cool, but you can kind of see the top of your the top of your room and all that. So because because oh, the camera, I got cause... tilted up a little high. Yeah. That's better. Yeah, that's probably better right there. You know, now you look like. <sighs> And you're, oh yeah, oh pretty good. You know that's you're right, pretty much the right height and everything. It's pretty good. Chilling with, uh, chilling with the Big Bang crew today. You know that you needed to move the, you need to have the picture changed so, so you're actually sitting around the couch. Kick somebody out of his seat. You know, he's probably gonna make him mad, but you know, hey. So. You can only have one green screen uploaded in this stupid thing. R really. Yeah, or, or have a premium account, whatever. Oh. oh, Zoom, you can have more, I take it? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Well, one of these days, hopefully, the two of those companies will start talking to each other and make it a little bit easier. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just It worked last week, but I still had to – I just was so frustrating last week to get to work. So um, well, I'll figure it out at some point. 
Yeah. It used to be super duper easy. I mean, I mean, I remember I could snap my fingers and it used to work great. And then something, whoa. Well, this boat, this boat probably is not getting, uh, this boat probably is not getting built. I might have to, I have to ask for a replacement, uh, replacement top from Lego. This one, uh, I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking that that isn't going to snap into the front of the boat. I'm just, I'm just thinking, you know. I, I can't see what the hell you're looking at. It's not big enough. Make you make yourself a spotlight video or something. I'm just I'm just saying I think that's not going to fit on the front of the boat. Uh, you know I could be I could be missing. I'll put it right across my forehead. See, just quite not going to work. Huh. What's wrong with it? Is it a fence? Uh, yeah, yep. That's what happened <laughs> to the box. So the the, the boat is uh, a little a little uh, bent. So I'll have to. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. I mean, even with the front of the boat, I mean, I can live with that broken piece. It just, you know, I mean, obviously it won't float, but you know, without some duct tape. Uh, well, I'm, building, I'm building this stuff that. Can I eat down here? I'm building this stuff that really isn't Lego. So does that count for anything? Oh, I don't know. This is kind of a Lego building stream, but you know, I suppose whatever. So they look like Lego bricks. They're just smaller. So it's one of those things where, so obviously I don't get to build the second boat. So, I mean, I'll have to put that back, but I'll build the one that bricks miss. I mean, here we'll probably put them, we'll probably put the pieces side by side and we'll probably be able to definitely see the difference. I'm sure well, the other one probably won't be snapped in half or snapped apart. See this one, so you can kind of, you can kind of see together that, you know, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, now you can now you can definitely see what the hell you're yeah, talking you can, about. You, you kind of see yeah. that there's a slight issue with the front of the boat. I guess I mean whoever last used this boat definitely uh, definitely hit Sank something. It. Hit something. I don't know. You know, it's one of those uh, maritime accident type things. It'd be cool if it was if it would work that way, but you know, just doesn't quite uh, snap into place that way. They'll have to do that. They'll have to make me. Uh, they'll have to make that into one of the sets, you know, somehow do that in the future. Have it so you can actually, you know, hit something. So, yeah, so we'll build the other one, I guess. So that happens. I guess that was the the risk I took for paying uh, 13 48 even five bucks, but I get to have to have to send it, uh, go to the replacement parts. I think that's I think that's one of the re recent boats too. I think isn't it? 2019 since last year. They should still have that part somewhere in the warehouse. So. You want ketchup on your fries? What no, do you want good. on your fries? No. <laughs> it's good. Well, how Come on. And your vegetables later. Come up. No. With eat your vegetables, Reed. <laughs> vegetables. What are those? Oh, something we're supposed to eat. Man, and I don't have any offspring. So if you're asking me, MJ, I don't. So, so it's fish sticks. To, I'm not what? No, no. Yes, just like the TV shows, yes, there's a voice from above. <laughs> I don't know if I want. I can I can look like this. I can look like I'm quarantined in my own basement. But eating becomes a little bit more difficult like this. So just cut a hole in the mask. Good. Masks are fairly useless anyway. So I'll just kind of you can listen to me eat, but you can't see me eat. So, Brian, I like your. Oh, actually, I need to get back to the. Uh, here we go. That is really nice, Brian. You know, uh, can you? Hey, can you find the tub that's got one by two clear plates and send me one, real, please? A tub with one by two clear plates. Yeah, I could use some more. One by two clear plates. It's probably in there somewhere. I actually don't have. I mean, I have a. Uh, I have a good number, but there are actually not as many left as you might think. No, I'm talking about one of those green tubs behind you. Oh right, I am in the warehouse. 
So, yeah, you know, there should be at least a couple tubs in there, one by two clear plates, you know. You'd think. Hopefully. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get on that. Sounds like they're doing curbside at some of the Lego stores again now. Uh, Milwaukee I think, open. I think the one here in Castle is open with 25% capacity. Really? Yep. Milwaukee is uh, curbside only. No pick-a-brick and no BAM. Yeah, I, I'm sure there's no pick-a-brick at, at the one here. That's no doubt, no doubt in my mind about that. That's the, only reason, that's the only reason I go to the store, so I don't need yeah. to go. Exactly. I mean, otherwise I can get everything I want online, you know? Yeah. The only difference would be is if they had something on sale or something, but sales aren't like they used to be either, so. No. Sales at a Lego store haven't been that exciting in years. Kind of, I kind of miss the days of the... Uh, really good sales and all that stuff and uh you know but obviously it's one of those things where you know i think the mentality is now is people will buy it you know even with a small discount you know just because it's discounted so i just watch, watch walmart and those places and wait till they go cheap there and so what do you build what are you building, Brian? Are you building? Oh, what is that? Hmm. The Unity Temple, Adam Brick. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, Larry, what are you working on tonight? It's 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 Tucker's Tucker's line is what it is. Oh. The Adam cool. Brick. What'd you say, Larry? Oh, I'm I'm trying to get my table cleared off so I can build. Uh, want to finish a mock for this week's build challenge. I uh, see. In order to do this, I just got on another table. <laughs> I, I all my tables are being used. <laughs> Man, I'm getting ready to text you. What's up, Brick? Nothing. Can you hear me? No. no. Okay. What are you doing? Working. What are you doing? Eating. And then I'll be building. Started using some of those parts already. Oh, did you finally get your shipment? Yeah, I got it. Yep. If I looked at my Instagram before I left storage, I could have uh, grabbed my uh, my cheap ass package at the post office. So these bricks are three quarters the size of Lego. My fat fingers don't really like them. <laughs> Here. Finger diet. Yeah. You've got a fork, don't you? Yeah. yeah. I remember that time too, two years ago, that Brick Vibe was streaming every Thursday because it interrupted my bowling night. I had to watch occasionally. That Brick Vibe is a pretty cool guy, I've heard. I, I, I've heard great things about him. You know, once, hey, once, you know, but you know what the Brick Vibe guy now hasn't done was giving me any feedback on that first uh, virtual Brick World. Oh, I don't know if you made it in. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will say, so I I, I attended while I was at work, so I was working and listening at the same time. Sure. Um. But I love the great ball contraption room. Um, I like Boone's room, other than the fact that it was kind of like Kitty Central. 
<laughs> do, you, do you have any idea how many kids were there versus adults? I do not. Uh, if you had to guess. Well, I, I, honestly, I was in the help room all day, Justin. I didn't uh, I, I didn't even get out to any of the rooms and see what was going on. Oh, you didn't? Okay. No. no I, I really liked it, and I thought it worked way better than I, than I ever imagined it working, to be honest with you. Were there any hiccups or anything? No, there weren't, which is kind of scary. Mine. I... Well, I mean, we had a couple. We had a couple operators setting up the rooms and stuff, but nothing, nothing from a, a real technical standpoint that was that was holding anything up. No, no widespread what would just went on kind of thing. It was, uh, you know, there there were there were people that didn't follow the instructions we gave them ahead of time. There were people that opened up a Zoom room but didn't open up the room that we'd set up, so the link wasn't the same and. Uh, and we tracked all, all we tracked all that down within the first half an hour and had everything going. And then we just had a couple hiccups the rest of the day. People that didn't really pay attention to what we said they were going to do, and they didn't realize they had to be in the room six hours. Yeah, yeah little, little things. That was that was good. I mean, like I said, I think I don't I like I don't think I'm on the on the plan for the next one, but maybe June. I'll probably try yeah. to. Uh, castle well, exactly. Clap. You don't, don't want to have all the same stuff every show. That would be counterproductive. Yeah, I want to do more of a collab anyways for June. That way it's not – so I don't have to be there so much for six if I don't have to. Well, exactly. Even if you just split a room. Yeah, so some of our learning was that you split a room with somebody for sure. Don't put anyone in a room by themselves for the entire afternoon. That or do some castle-related um, presentations or workshops in there while we're doing it. So Exactly. That's still splitting the room, right? Yeah, like making capes or something. I was thinking of doing it, and then I realized I didn't have a lot of – rooms that have maybe reset the room a little bit to do it but i could because everybody enjoys that yeah but they'd have to have their materials right well yeah but if not else they learn how to do it if nothing else too true and if i'm smart and i use a good enough computer i could record it too nothing else Remember that. That. It's all it's all on Mark to decide what he wants and doesn't want. I'm not I'm not in that part of the game. I know. Well, I can, well, I I probably would want to do a video anyway if I could record it and then re-edit it so I just have the hate part of it and just put it over on YouTube or something. But yeah, yeah. I think anyway, I, I, back, huh? back to brick, brick vibe. Just, yeah, pretty much those comments pretty much aligned with with uh, about ninety nine percent of the West what we heard. From people that uh, the great ball contraption was great, and that the Boone's room was very great because it was very interactive. Um, so it was fun. It was a lot of fun, no doubt. Yeah, I think he got a phone call. He's muted right now. It looks like I'm so. sorry, I got a phone call. I'm sorry. That was that, that, was that loud phone we heard. <laughs> yeah, I apologize okay. for that. No, you're fine. I, I was saying, I was saying, your feedback pretty much aligned with with everything else we heard. So, uh, did you hear anything bad? Not a thing. Not one single bad thing. We had one person that bought the $5 ticket and failed to get in. But but we, we worked with her and worked with her and worked with her and tried to get her in. And she just couldn't do it. And she knew it was on her. So <laughs> I spent a half an hour trying to get her in. And I couldn't talk her through it. So can, can, can you can don't you worry about up the season pass for the <laughs> virtual show? I'm sorry. Can you hook a brother up with a season pass for the virtual shows? <laughs> oh man! Didn't you register for Rickworld this year already? You should have. I, did, I I was waiting to see if it was going to happen or not. I usually register late. You know, well, actually, what I should do is is convince Mark to reopen registration. Mm -hmm. And if you register, if you register by the end of May, then you get you get everything we promised, and that gives him better cash flow. I would do that. I think there's uh, more than a handful of people that would do that. I'll have to I'll have to bounce it off of them. Because I definitely I, I yeah I let my registration slide and everything. Yeah, so. everything everything he's doing is about cash flow right now, or or lack of. <laughs> I 
I was gonna say I finally got it. I got. I, I don't even have to call the Renaissance. It seemed like they maybe canceled the the bank of rooms because uh, I get something from them saying, "Hey, your uh, the the reservation can't uh, has been uh, canceled." Or whatever. I'm like, okay. Oh really? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't, I, didn't, realize, I, didn't, I didn't realize that was going on. Okay, that's good to well, know. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, that's at least what happened to me. I don't know if that's. You know, well, I mean, that's one of the things we're afraid of for people that they forget to cancel a hotel room and then did end up getting charged for a hotel room. That wouldn't be cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So. I once heard Brick Vibe say a swear cuss word in person at Brick World Chicago 2019. And I went to the bathroom to wash my ears out. Hmm. What did I say? I don't know. <laughs> That's MJ. Who knows? Oh, I thought that was. I thought. I thought you were saying. Oh, it. someone in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. MJ in the chat. Oh. Well, if you stay late enough at Brick World, I'm sure you can hear. You know, lots of entertaining conversations. So I mean, you know, hey, Brick I Vibe never effing swears. Huh? I said Brick Vibe never effing swears. You do remember the intercom thing in Indy, right? Yeah, but that was like it late at night after you'd been pushing my wife around the room in a chair. <laughs> that was a fun night. That really was a fun night. That was definitely a very fun night. <laughs> See what you miss not going to not going to the other conventions, Reed? Uh well, I mean I, I, I go to some other conventions, you know. Not the cool ones. <sighs> You know, I I don't know. He was going to be in Wisconsin this year in his defense. Yeah, I'm well, just waiting really. for that. Yeah, yeah. I always, you know, I go to lots of cool places. I don't know what you're talking about. Actually, one of the sets I open later is what I won in the bingo game at the uh, Brick Fair New England show that no longer exists. <laughs> As I recall, I think I yelled bingo very, very loudly for that. Uh, stickers to not sticker, I guess. Uh, uh, MJ says, I'm a big trolling sweetheart, Brick Five. And if when I heard that word, I loved you for it. So uh -huh. yeah, I hope MJ's a female. It's a guy. <laughs> So, Mr. Bob, I take it you're staying busy, I take it? We are staying rather busy. Rather busy. Well, if nothing else, I would speculate you'd probably get at least some sorting done, huh? Maybe? Maybe? So? Maybe? No, you still bunch, do you still have a bunch of stuff that needs sorting and stuff or not? Not so much. Not right now. Hmm. Oh, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh, Winter Bricker says bromance. I guess response to the other. That was the first time I ever met him. It was at Chicago last year. Cool. Uh, go freaking talking, just popping in to leave a like. Cool, cool. Awesome. Oh. Dropping bricks. Cake and ice cream. Not right now. Where's your plate? I'll take it. Unless you're Are you done with it. Thank you, Peggy. What'd you lose? Nothing, just a piece. Just a Lego piece. Oh, there goes Brot. There goes Bobby. He's falling again. Oh, Haley's saying, uh, just saying hi and bye. I'll be back in a little bit. 
Uh, MJ at Ghost Freak and Talking. Are you currently investigating a place? Because if you were, this video might get a lot more likes. Oh, look at that. Oh. Is, that your, is that your Lego helper there? Zoe Cam. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep from antagonizing Zoe with the squirrel with Chester. Zoe won't care. She's tired. Tired? She wouldn't chase a squirrel right now? Nope. Probably not. Yep, you can have her. I picked up some uh, some uh, dog treats the other day in case I go out and visit with my visit my dad's house. Help train his dog. Oh, that was cool. That's a magical. It's a magical warehouse there. You know. Yeah. It's the Wizard of Oz, man. Don't pull the curtain back. Yeah, actually, the whole thing is actually back a little, a little far. That needs to. No, nope. uh, Ghost Freaking Talk says, nope, MJ, I was watching a live stream of, a, of The Conjuring House. Can't wait to burn a whole week watching live feeds from the house. Cool, cool. So, <laughs> Damn, I'm ugly. Okay, so am I. That's how I'm going to show Kevin's shirt and building of the boat. And then I don't have to, you know, for, you know. make sure I'm on my second second Taylor freaking wrist, wrist, wristband. I actually broke one a while back. I don't know what happened. Kind of. Snapped. Oh, you know, I might have to put stickers on some of these bricks. They just probably don't look quite the same without them. Oh, I hate to tell Adam his thing is short parts. Ooh. Short parts isn't that good. How many parts? Well, four, four, one by four dark tan tiles. Hmm. Uh, Brick Bunny says, I thought you were in a Lego storage facility, facility a la Indiana Jones. <laughs> exactly. Yes, that would be, that would be great, you know. I'd be like, can you with the laser pointer show me where this uh, this brick is stored? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that is that up there? No, you need a, you need a bigger, wider uh, laser pointer. I can't tell what that is. So real, earlier today, uh, I had I, I did a I'm, I'm helping a friend uh, do some homeschooling with her kids, mm. and so they had an assignment to go through the airplane catalog for the Air Force Museum in Dayton yeah, and uh, decide which was their favorite X plane and explain why and write up a paper on it. And then we had a, we had a zoom call to go over it and talk about it. And I had a, I had a buddy of mine that's Colonel in the Air Force join the zoom call when the kids came on, they're like, who's that? <laughs> that I had an Air Force Colonel come in to make sure you did a good job. Oh, oh. <laughs> nice. But during that call, I put up a, uh, I, 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 I got a picture of the Air Force Museum and to put up, put up the background as the Air Force Museum and said, I went ahead and went over to the museum to hang out while we did the call. It's <laughs> mm. nice. I actually, uh, was out at, uh, I got actually stationed at Castle Air Force Base when I got when I was in the Air Force for my very short stint. That had a micro uh, Air Force museum out there. That's kind of cool. Just don't don't sit at the end of the flight line with your T-top off as a B-52 takes off. That wasn't quite a very bright thing to do. That was uh, quite entertaining that day. They are quite the point the plowed plane. Except we've got the uh, F-35s now, so it's actually uh, starting to get kind of kind of loud around here every once in a while, too. Reed, what kind of car did you have that had T-tops on it? Huh? What kind of car did you have that had T-tops on it? Trans Am, 77. So we've got, we've got A-10s that fly out of Fort Wayne if you want to talk loud. 
when they come down when they come down the highway to us. Yeah. They rumble they rumble the joint. Yeah, the F-35s, I mean, I don't think they're much louder than what, than the 16s. I mean, it, you, you, we could hear them the other night across town, you know, at our house. We could we could hear them. I think, I think they're taking off. Mom's like, well, that doesn't sound too much louder than normal. Like, eh. Well, we're across town, too, but, you know. Um, so. I decided it's not a problem with the uh, parts. It's an instruction error. Ooh. The uh, parts list. The parts list did not correctly call out the right part. Should have been a one by three, not a one by four. Uh -huh. I figured that out by looking at the next step to see exactly where the parts fit. It's like, wait a minute, that a one by four wouldn't fit there. Ghost Freak and Talk. When is the official release date of Hidden Side Monster Fighters Castle? Please tell me of this information, you spooky sir. And I don't know the date. Just the whole summer, twenty twenty. I actually. I actually picked up my first one of those sets. I picked up the plane. One of the plane. The plane? The plane. The plane. I mean, well, I mean, I don't really have an airport. Actually, I was gonna I was gonna bring the cargo plane and build it. And I was like, nah, I'll build city stuff tonight. I'll I'll do a I'll do it kind of themed a little bit and, and do some other stuff as I go along. Cause I have I have plane stuff, I got space stuff, I got you know, so my backlog is pretty extensive for cities, so I won't run out of sets anytime soon. Actually, I think I brought four. I actually brought brought four boats tonight. I think I got these two. One is busted, then I got, I got so they're all fishing boats. I got a couple other. Oh, actually, I still got you highlighted. Actually, I still, yeah, I know. I was wondering why the hell I'm still up there. <laughs> I, don't know. I got a couple other boats too. A couple other fishing boats. 2017 and 2011. 2011. All have sharks, so that's always nice. So they're shark boats. Yeah. You know, they're fishing boats. The sharks might be just getting in the way. So, well, and I pulled out. My I, I, I got an Indiana Jones set from uh, one of the one of the resellers. He lives down there in Indianapolis area now. Uh, Don Ryan uh, used to he's got a breakling store. He used to live up here or he used to live in Colorado. I think it was him. Actually, no, it wasn't him. It was one of the other guys. But his wife had opened all the bags in the set <laughs> before uh, realizing that he wasn't supposed to do that. So he gave it to me, and I was testing to make sure I had all the parts the other day. So. Uh, my na my neighbor's wife did that with the with not not the not the the eight hundred dollar Millennium Falcon, but the one before that that he was building for the kids, the two hundred twenty dollar set, because the oh. kids wanted the minifigure. So she dumped all the parts together, and he's like, "Seriously, <laughs> hey, make this more of a challenge, please." <laughs> hey Nick, is that the poly bag, the the hidden side poly bag you're missing? If you're still here. Where'd you get that one at? Magic Getting Place. Hmm. Magic Getting Place. Oh. How many of those you got? Quite a few. Really? <clears throat> Did you not get my email today? You what? Did you I Did you get a newsletter from Brick Five today, Reed? No. Check Is your spam. Check huh? your spam. Check your spam folder and mark un, mark it as unspam if you didn't if you got it. No, we yeah, got a bunch, we got a ton of twenty twenty poly bags in. Ooh. Nick didn't leave, did he? Uh, he was he was passing through what was his first stream and then his first conversation, but I think somebody dragged him to talking so. I'll catch the screen, uh, what time did you send it out? It was this morning at like 11, probably. 10, 11, something like that. You may just not have been added to the customer list yet. I'm guessing because I didn't get it. 
Okay. You, you didn't add the Polybag Master to that list? Man, I feel so unimportant. That's okay. That's okay. I probably have too many anyways at about 16, 1700 anyways, so I probably have too many. So. How many? I don't know, 16, 1700, something like that. I moved 1500, but I've been buying since I got here, so. Reed, you have a problem? Well, I do donate a bunch. I mean, those they're easy to donate. To oh, I know. But yeah, I do have a problem. So <laughs> the poly bags are small. They're not. They're not a big set. They don't take up as much space. Poly bags are awesome. Plus, I got some really cool uh, some bins from one of the grocery chains near here that gave me some old uh, beat up uh, shelving. Units that like usually have like dog treats and stuff in them, so pretty cool, pretty neat. They were pretty good. I could still use a few more, but they do the job that they're needed for. So I need, I need a wife like that. A what? I need a wife like that that does the job she's needed for. Oh. So, um, and Lego, what are you working on? You sorting or building? I'm sorting. Okay. Larry's cleaning. Ryan's building. Rick Five working. Reed, what were you building last week? Uh, may the blank be with you. Well, oh. I mean, were you building a sex did that part two on your... Oh, oh. Uh, that was probably the uh, Ferris wheel. Oh, okay. Because I actually only got... I only got the base done during my stream. And then I built the the wheel, I think, on Saturday night. Uh -huh. um, I don't know. I mean, this is like part three of just tonight already because, you know, I couldn't get the other ones to work properly, so... Yeah. So, but uh, yeah, Ferris wheel most likely I think is what it was, and uh, I think actually, you know what? I actually don't know why I actually had two parts. Let me see. Oh, you know what? Um, let's see here. Well, it was Saturday. You have two parts tonight, is what you're saying. Well, tonight, yeah, tonight I got all kinds of crap, so I'm gonna have to figure out what happened. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, why? Why did it, you know? Maybe. Oh, you know what? Part two was I did some. I did some building before um, uh, the Saturday Night Lego that Hoosier and those guys do. So uh -huh. mine was kind of, you know, early. And then when he came on, I went off. So that was what part two was. And then I did the drawing, did the drawing video also um, at 1.2. And so that's out there too. So, which uh, sans one. So, so, hey, collector. Hey, Brick25. Hey, dude, Jude. So, oh, yeah. So, I'll try to do too many two-parters if I can avoid it, but they do happen once in a while. So, so here's some. I put a link in the chat or in the private chat for you to see all the new poly bags. Oh, cool! Cool! That's what I like to see. Well, somebody, Brian, were you getting ready to say something? Oh, we said Lego. Lego needs to have parts like this. Clear. Clear two by eight plate. Clear six by six. Oh, show that again. Show that again. Now you're on the big screen. You gotta show everybody that. Oh 
man, my castle would be so much easier to build if I had something like that. Right. And then two, there's a four by eight and a two by eight there stuck together. Oh man. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. De the castle definitely would not be eighty thousand pieces anymore. I'd probably cut that in half with pieces like that. Uh, I hope more than that. <laughs> oh, where are they? You want to show up clear? How's that? Uh, how's that army coming along, uh, Brick Five? Are you, st are you still? How's that trooper army coming? I um, I put them all together. I put all the first order teachers together. I still got a bin of um, of um. Uh, yes, collector Brian is using a green screen to get that beautiful look. No, Brian is at the Lego warehouse in Denmark. Do not lie to them. Uh, Why would you do that? I bought my green screen on Amazon for like 23 bucks. Really? Yep. All it is is like EJ and Abby's tablecloths. That's what I was thinking. I was just gonna go buy some cloth, but I yeah, but the the, the green it was it a ten by ten for twenty three bucks. You couldn't beat it. You couldn't get the cloth for that cheap. Oh. And it's again, it's got a pull. It's got a pull uh, slot in it. So if you need to hang it up on on uh, stanchions at a show oh. or something. Oh okay. Uh, Brick orphanage. Hey guys, thanks for the great chip on the CMFs at Walmart. Read no problem. And that's where I've been getting mine. Actually, uh, the. Uh, um, Mr. Mr. Hinkle actually should be receiving uh, his full set of DC and his full set of Series 20 uh, sometime soon. I mailed it. I mailed him when I mailed him his two 60 foot Cat 6 cables I made for him. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. Hold on. Brick Vibe showing something here. Hold on. There he was. I am. Oh, look at those. Ooh. Ooh. Clear Darth Vader helmets. I, well, are, are, I, I, not to not to be funny or anything, but what do we call those Darth Gator helmets? Rain uh, Rainbow Vader. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. I thought so. I like the trans. The trans is kind of cool. I don't. I don't know that it makes sense to the other solid colors, but trans ones are kind of neat. Trans purple would be sweet. You need to like get a printed head inside of it that looks like it's all bloodied up and brains sticking out. Awesome. That would definitely be awesome. Yeah, I actually did grab a pair of. Uh, you know, I don't really. I'm not really trying to use disposable gloves, but I grabbed a pair from uh, work just in case I want to start going and feeling figs because I'm not going to keep buying the way I've been buying. I got way too many duplicates now. Too I'll have series twenty in like a week or two, week and a half. Yeah, I got a, I got a bunch. I mean, I just and I was able to actually, I found another bag right as I was getting ready to send off what I needed to send to Kevin, and in the end, I ended up having a, a, a full set for him, of both. I mean, I thought I was uh, missing some, but in the end, I actually uh, had them all, so it's kind of nice. So. But yeah, he uh, killed one of his. He killed the last Cat Five cable I sent him, and so I went out the other day and bought uh, a, 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 a five hundred feet of Cat uh, Cat Six cable this time, and uh, made him a couple new cables. Sent them to him. I'd, I'd ask how to kill Cat Five cables, but I know how I know how to kill them real easily. So we'll just well, leave it at that. Yeah, the end was the the one, last one I made. The end the 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 uh, connector was a little bit far off of the. Uh, wasn't right on the cable, and so I'm guessing it just got caught somewhere. So happened. Well, in our in our in a previous house we had the uh, this you know predating decent wireless in the house we had wired internet that came down to the family room, and uh, the plug came out of the wall, kind of behind where Kathy's chair rocking chair was. And so I'd plug my Cat5 cable in, and I'd take it over to my computer, and it was just long enough to make it. Then she'd plop down in her chair and flip it backwards, and it'd catch the cable and over-tighten it and yank it right out of the wall, <laughs> yank the wire right out of the wall. And I'm like, I went through like four cables like that. I'm like, seriously, stop plopping in the chair. Yeah. 
uh well actually my one friend when he redid his uh when he redid his uh his house is like his kitchen and his living room and stuff i told him i says you know i mean you know i know you you probably you know because he was like you know i says you know you could run like uh coax and stuff and he's like oh you know i don't know i said well i think at least run some cat five in the wall to a, a plate and then if you ever you know if you ever if somebody wants a wired connection you got it and so he did listen to that which was kind of nice so i mean you know it's never it's never a bad thing to have that in the wall because you just never know when you want a wired connection well i did that around my basement yeah i have uh I have a wired connection from my laptop normally, a wired connection that goes to the television. Uh, and where the, where the television is, since I got a computer upstairs now, I, it's, it's right below there. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a switch right right there by the TV and then run another cable up through the closet wall into the, through the ceiling upstairs. So yeah. I'm gonna hardwire to the laptop upstairs too. Yes. See this one right here? There's a cat five here that's coming from upstairs where the modem is that's up, or the router upstairs that comes down here and goes into a router down here. So I did that a while back um, just so I'd have a wired connection to because, you know, yeah. Wi-Fi's Wi-Fi. I mean, I, you know, you just, it's not dependable enough. To really. Uh, my, my wife, my wife laughs at me because of the way I set stuff up. In order of importance in things in life, the uh, television upstairs in the family room and everything that gets to it from the uh, fiber optic coming in the house are all on battery backups. So <laughs> if the power goes out, I still got TV. <laughs> yeah, that's that's always good. I used to have battery backup. I don't anymore. I think my UPS died years ago, and I just haven't I haven't replaced it. So, but. One of those things where it's it's still kind of it was nice to have i mean it didn't happen too much did have a few brownouts here and there but not a lot so um well there's one boat done so for one thing i noticed they don't have on the ship which would have been really cool is they could have had a place to hang the flippers but that would have been kind of neat Hey Reed, I bet you got some extra pieces around. You could probably add that. Yeah, I don't know if I have the clips, or at least the right colored clips right now. But yeah, I could. I could probably do that. Okay. Oh, I'm making a mess though. I'm doing that. <clears throat> oh, I got the extra hair. Yeah, even a spot to just kind of put the extra hair, and yeah. Oh well. Okay, time to build. Eh, yeah. Let's move to a helicopter. We're gonna we're gonna move around a little bit here. So one boat's done. One boat. Actually, you know what? I'm actually gonna go on to the. Uh, actually, here. Go to, this, uh, go to this poly bag thing here. Yeah, the Marvel is the Captain Marvels. I got. They're still. I follows at a Walmart recently. Fire Rescue, I have not seen yet. Minecraft, I don't think I've seen yet either. Uh, and Jago, I haven't seen yet. Surfer, I did. I already got that. And the bird, I, the friends, I have that. So just Ninjago. And then, of course, that, the one, the, the hidden side. The dots, I haven't, I haven't bought yet either. So, yeah. Well, you know, cool, cool. It's good to know. Good to know. I'm gonna have to I'm up the mark that up the favorite that uh, that website there. Actually, I probably should put that on the bar, maybe. Hey, Bama Bricks, welcome, welcome. We're doing pretty good. I'm just doing some sets. I'm gonna build an old uh, police helicopter from 2008. Probably pretty much pretty close to when I came out of my dark ages there. So. Always fun, fun, fun. You only been doing this since 2008, Reed? Um, 
2000, no, no, uh, no, not, well, 2007, I think. I guess I wouldn't have guessed I'd been around longer than you. 2006, 2007, I came out of my dark age. I mean, you know, I mean, well, my friend John was like, dude, there's a Lego store out there. You got to find it. And I was buying a crap load of stuff for him. And uh, uh, he has not touched Lego in about, well, maybe 10, 11 years. So yeah. he's had, well, he works for one of the companies around here that laid off a crap load of people at one point, And then he's had some, some weird, some, unreliable tenants in his in his uh duplex and so he just you know certain things so so, life. yeah well kind of yeah and then basically it's one of those things where when he uh a couple times i've gone over to even just talk even just talk gaming or whatever and it just doesn't it doesn't end well so so it's kind of been uh you know a little depressing but you know hey Someone be rattling away on a keyboard. Huh? Someone be rattling away on a keyboard. That was me. It was a quick, quick one. I mastered I mastered I mastered how to use a keyboard from all my days in the chat rooms back in the day. So, all the AOL chat rooms. That's where I mastered it. So well, I took typing, but maybe a little bit. I, I can still put down about 30 words a minute. I can do probably 30 with very few errors, but I mean, I could probably be oh, fast. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. And there we go. Panel is full. Look at that sweet looking wall. Oh, this box is not opening. Well. Okay. Not as cool as mine. Yeah, your wall is a little bit bigger than his. We'll ask, we'll have to ask him why his wall isn't that big. Must Kevin must not be at his forever home yet, so he can have a wall like that, I guess. Hey, Kevin, remember the last time we hung out here in the warehouse? Oh, like it was yesterday. <laughs> can I come hang out, Brian? Sure. Anytime. Hey, hey, Kevin, I just want you to know that you're my hero. Well, thank you. Everybody's got to have a hero. I'm just, I'm just glad you like the drawing. I'm bummed I got demoted. <laughs> I thought I was his hero. Uh, uh, uh. I'll, have to, I'll have to pick something. I haven't done that yet. What? A drawing. Oh, you mean like make a request in the stream? No, I don't I... Uh, at what level do you get the do you get the personalized drawing? Oh, five bucks. Oh, I'm at five bucks. I think I actually did. No, actually, I think I did ten. Actually, I think. I think yeah. Didn't didn't you? Yeah, I did ten because Wait. I'm doing I'm doing fifteen through that other guy, and so I wanted to make an even twenty five a month for Patreon. So. Wait, Reed. All I heard is I have to pick something. Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna pick my uh, nose. Not on a live stream. Well, at least not while well, you can see it. You can do it. Yeah. Did I send you? I don't think I sent you a message through Patreon, did I? Uh, I don't know. I don't look at the Patreon too often. Well, I actually, I guess it should, it, it should email you too. If I send you a yeah. Patreon message, it should send you an email that you have it as well. Yeah, yeah. That's how you use Patreon. Uh, Patreon. I'm glad. You, I'm glad you asked. Uh, Patreon is actually a really helpful website for uh, artists and content creators that do not have a stable monthly income. And so you can support uh, people that you like their content and say, hey, I like your content enough that I'm willing to give you $5 every month forever. Uh, and so you get different uh, rewards, perks, exclusives, whatever. Everybody handles it differently. Um, and so uh, it all equals out to you know, a monthly 
financial pledge to support someone that you like. Yeah, I, I basically. So, have, so I saw that, Larry. You, I saw that, players, Larry. Kevin, the Larry wounded Kevin project. He just dropped all of his cups of parts. I saw it, Larry. <laughs> Early to see here. Move along. So, appreciate this read. These are your cups. I'm sorry. What did I was oh. so distracted with Larry dropping all of his cups? I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, I store I store balls in my cups. Oh, well, there you go. GBC oh, right. balls, that is. What are you yeah. talking about here? Wait, what are you going on about? Well, you know, I, it's it's good that those cups are coming in useful. Then you know that's a good thing. It is. So, Kevin, back to your website thing. What do you call yeah. yours? The wounded, the wounded Kevin project? No, it's just it's just my Patreon page. <laughs> you don't you don't uh I mean I don't think there's anybody that I know that has like re rebranded the page in a different name. Trolls of Kevin. What? <laughs> it's the uh it's it's for for less than the cup cost of a cup of coffee a day, you too can help feed my children. <laughs> except except I don't drink coffee. Well, for the, for the cheaper than the cost of a brick separator. <laughs> Maybe. I bet I, I would be willing to bet you've had more income since February than I have. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, probably. <laughs> since mine's zero, if you got five dollars from Reed, you're ahead of me. <laughs> I'm ahead. Then I'm winning. I'm hash, I'm hashtag winning then. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice it's a nice thing. Um, but yeah, I gotta see. Actually, I don't think I sent you a message, Reed. I think that you, I think you joined on either right before I streamed one day or in the middle of the stream? Uh, it was right, yeah. It was that, I think the one day where we were doing, we were doing, talking about 50. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 did. Missed, I missed you, which is uh, a horrible, horrible thing to do. Who, who was it? Was it like uh, Dude Juju? Dude Juju? Hey, like 50? And I was yeah. like right before, before yeah. him. I was 59. Yeah. yeah, he was 50. Uh, let me send you. Okay, yeah. So you need to. I will send you this message just so you have it. Um, <clears throat> because hey, it, Nick, did you see the poly bag earlier? The poly bags. Nick, Nick is Nick. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. Um, do you want me to just post it in the chat in the normal chat? Oh yeah, there you go. There you are. Vibe, I could if you want. I don't mind. Do what now? You want me to just put it in the normal chat? You could. What? Well, yeah, if you want, that'd be great. I mean, if you want, that'd be good. Are you talking about the pictures you posted on Instagram? Right? Vibe? Polybags? Yeah, just go to that, go to that link. Uh Oh yeah, I forgot that I posted them on Instagram. Yeah, I mean it's public, I think, unless I'm going crazy. Uh, can we can we vote on that? Hey Moto. No, welcome. no, it's no, not not no. <laughs> Hello Moto. Dude Jude. Winter Bricker. Nick is, Nick Brick is here also, yeah. yeah. Hello everybody. Uh, bah, bah. I'm pretty sure you can find a quorum that would vote me as uh, insane. I mean, if if nobody thinks you're crazy, then you're not doing something right. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Crazy like a fox. I don't know. Yeah. There, yeah, there you go. Yeah, for for a crazy guy, I've done okay for myself, I guess. So you know, there it is. Crazy. I've managed to hold on to a wife for almost 30 years. Okay, she's crazy. Wait, wait. Uh, that's a, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty big victory right there, let me just say. Staying, was, staying together that. for that long is pretty good. I was going to say, Moto, it's always a Den Log reunion in the uh, Friday Night Streams. Except I'm missing a piece. There it is. Mm -hmm. Hello, Debbie Shep and Bama Bricks. So, so yeah, what? You getting ready to say something? No, we, we, need to, we need to have a real topic of conversation here. I feel like we're not really doing our, our viewers. Mm -hmm. 
uh, a service by just kind of rambling and building. I, I feel like we should be doing something more. This? Yeah. Hmm. Where is that place? Of course, I don't know what the heck that means, but you know, that's the first question. I don't know either. So, let's see, who is this? Oh, hold on. The other Kevin. Open the engines. Oh, the other Kevin's here? Hold on. Look at that. <gasps> it can turn into no light on its own. We could get an update from Mr. Hinkle on how homeschool's going. going now. Oh, it still goes. Every single day it goes. The car has guns. Guns? Yep. Yeah, this is the James Bond. I'm showing him the James Bond features. Nice. Ooh, nice. I actually really like this uh, ejector seat uh, play feature. It's kind of fun. It doesn't like, I don't know how you would make it work better, uh, but uh, when you pull back on it, on this lever, on the bumper, it pulls the uh, top back, and then when you release it, it ejects the seat. Uh, yeah. And the seat just goes straight up. I actually did this like 20 times. And every time the seat would come up and it would like fall back down. And I'm like, in the movie, if Sean Connery did that, the bad guy would just fall right back in the car. Um, <laughs> but uh, I don't, like, I tried like pulling the lever and like releasing it like as hard as I could to see if I could get more force to like shoot it out of the car. But it always just would go up and go right back down in the car. <laughs> so, like, well, all right. But it's fun. It's fun to do it. It actually is a really clever way that they got both those features in the one, the one motion. Here's a live demo. <laughs> well, maybe it, maybe his head hits the roof and it concusses him, so he's dead when he goes back in the car. That's right? Is it a dead body that falls back into the car? That that's thinking. That's thinking. Uh, all this stuff, these, these like angles on the back were all really cleverly built in there, um, like this kind of stuff. And of course, they gave you, they gave us stickers, and I didn't put them in there because I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> but this was my first, this was my first Lego set to build in four months. <laughs> wow! What day are you doing your backlog? Every Tuesday, every Tuesday evening. Tuesday evening, huh? That's prime time. Everybody should be available. I have a different Zoom call I'm on on Tuesday evenings. <laughs> well, <that's right. laughs> uh, but yeah, no, um, homeschooling still goes. Uh, Connecticut finally made the, uh, the call that everybody was waiting for, and they've canceled school for the entire rest of the academic year. Um, so they, they are... Did that? What's that? Is it they just did that? That's they crazy. just did that. Yeah, they did that last week. Okay, um, so once again, Connecticut's behind everybody else. Well, hey, I am not a native Connecticut, so I'm not offended. Connecticut? Um, yeah, that's what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Ken Marlowe says, I can get mine out and we can compare ejector seats. Does yours actually like eject out of the car, Ken, like properly? Maybe I built it wrong. Um, no! I mean, I could have. So, but yeah, they, they just they just announced last week that it was done for the rest of the year. They had been doing the whole like month extension every month. Like, all right, schools are canceled through the rest of March. All right, now they're canceled through the rest of April. All right, now they're canceled through the rest of May. All right, now they're canceled for the rest of the year. Um, so, so that happened. Um, we've definitely been getting into a groove. Uh, so, you know, my younger son's got a portal, an online portal we go to, and it has his math, his reading, his – uh, his writing work, uh, he does stuff with, um, he's got like, uh, he's got three, we have three websites we have to check every day. There's like the portal, there's the, the reading room, and then there's the math site. Are you talking about um, me? I'm talking about you, yes. And uh, <laughs> every day, it does, I mean, on a, on a day where he's got a lot of work, it can take us a good four to five hours to do everything. Wow. Um, That's good. And then you're doing something useful. I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I that's feel the like, thing is I feel like confident that my son is learning stuff and he's doing stuff. He's not just like messing around. The yeah, I, don't, I, I don't feel that way about the way our, our the kids in our neighborhood have been. 
Okay, they only seem to take about two hours to do whatever their distance learning is, and they're done. And then they're done. Yeah. Uh, I mean, my my so my older son, who's a senior in high school, so he's he's kind of you know uh, he was told you know you're not having a graduation ceremony this year. Um, his work is kind of like he's done with it in like an hour. <laughs> and he's like, all right, I'm done for the day. Uh, and I don't really have to babysit him, at least not until teachers say he's not turning something in. Then I yell at him and he does it. Uh, but, yeah, I remember that conversation. Yeah, that happened. I mean, it hasn't happened since then. And uh, we just got uh, progress reports. And I'm sure it's probably the same for many other school districts. But they've decided with everything going on uh, for both the elementary school and the high school that all the kids are just getting a pass or fail. There's no letter grades. There's no numbers. It's either they passed it or they failed it. Um, and so I got the report cards and they're like, you, know what it is. you are passing. I'm like, okay, that's all that matters, I guess. Yeah. Here in Colorado, they, they, they froze, basically they froze the grades. They said, whatever you get as of like March 13th or whatever, you that's can it. grade, you can either improve it from there or leave it as it is as long as you check in every day. So sure. Yeah. You think that would be easy enough for my kids to do, but you know, there's screens to watch. <laughs> we can all we can all hope, right? We can all hope. Right. right. All right. I'm gonna take apart some some items that were for sale that uh, didn't sell. <laughs> so I'll take them apart. Hello, all. I didn't realize I was in. Hey, dude, dude. Hey, Rick Bunny. You didn't know you were in. Oh. Uh, there's no little ding or anything. I was looking at some uh, reference pictures for my build. Oh. Ding. Um, yeah, well, the, chat, the, at, the chat's actually talking about because M. Lego got moved to the waiting room. So <laughs> yeah, kind of thanks, M. Lego. Oh. Are, you are, we, are, are, are we at that stage where we're full and people are having to wait? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Well, I mean, I tried Zoom, and between YouTube and Zoom, I I don't know what happened this week, but well, I can't I can't you, I, much longer here. I was working. Um, I was still finishing up my my freelance project for the day, and I was trying to jump in just to like you know chat and listen while I was finishing up work. And the first time I opened up Zoom, it just completely locked my computer and froze, and I had to restart it, which literally never happens with this laptop. And I was like, okay, that's a little odd. Never, she never. Uh, well, it hasn't happened so far since I've owned it. Um, and then, I mean, I'm very used to computers freezing. But uh, and then I restarted the computer, opened up again, and then it just sat in a forever locked launching meeting. It just never did anything else. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just wait till I'm done. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was weird. I mean, I, I don't know. Last week it worked. This week it didn't. I mean, uh, I, don't know. I finally just I got too frustrated. I was like, okay, whatever. So, so which kind of talks. I mean, it would have been nice for it to work, but hmm. I'll be right back. I'm gonna have something to drink. I was worried. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. It's like that didn't make any sense. Oh, there we go. Without the stickers, a police helicopter. Oh, that well, that wasn't supposed to work. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen. I hit it too hard. Took a blade off. Hopefully, didn't kill any minifigs in the process. Oh. There we go. I don't see if it spins. There we go. One of those really good police helicopters from back in the day. Oh, well, that didn't work the way I was hoping it would. And that has that had a few pieces in it too. That was a police helicopter with ninety-four pieces in it. Crazy. I don't know if they. I don't think they have police helicopters with that many pieces anymore. I think I've seen some of the ones out there on the internet, out there, and they're not. Well, I haven't really done one like this unless it's in like a set. So this is 
kind of nice. I think I have like four or five of them. So you will not get away from the police for the helicopter in my Lego city. <laughs> uh, Larry, what are you building? Moto wants to know. Uh, hi, Moto. Um, I'm not, I can't tell you because it's for. Oh. I'm going to build another police item. I'm going to build a motorcycle. Brickhead. Where's yours, Moto? Oh, is that? When's that due? Tomorrow. Oh, I don't have any brickheads. Well, I guess I do have some brickheads, but they're all... I have the... The, uh, uh, the one that was a purple one. One of the purple ones. That's all I got. So, here's a 29-piece police motorcycle I'm building. You know, for the... My motorcade, so my my sig fig gets, uh, so my sig fig can be escorted around the uh, town in style. And actually, nice. I, I decided, you know, I since I have like eight or nine, I bring two of them tonight to build. So I'm gonna build two of them. So. And that was kind of the reason I always wanted to make sure my uh, my city had enough for a motorcade. That's kind of why I bought those. So because you got to have some, you know, important figures in your, you know, city occasionally. Someone's doing Morse code. Yeah. <laughs> I hear it. Something. That's a on a porch, right? What? Sounds like a porch swing. I hear a porch swing too, yeah. Yeah, Moto, I saw that those pictures of your wolf head. I'm just blown away. What's it for? Just fun? Hmm. It is a nice buzzing noise, whatever it is. Something is going to self-destruct. I don't know what it is, but we don't know. It's Kevin's, it's Kevin's James Bond car. Oh, well, that could get hurt. That could be it. And there it is. You know, the interesting thing about Adam's kits, they do come with lots of extra parts. Intentionally? What's that? Intentionally? Intentionally, yes. I think it's because the parts are so lightweight since they're so small that they can't uh, they can't get them all to work. Hey, Reed, you want to highlight me? That's what I was working on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> I like how it turns into green screen here. <laughs> Let me show the green screen. Cool. <laughs> First of all. It's a floating, it's a, some floating trees. That's pretty, I like that. Oh, lawn. Oh no, we can see all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were really there. The secrets are behind the green screen over there. <laughs> Everybody knows so, that when you have a green screen, you're supposed to drape it over you and just leave your head exposed. Yeah, and I know. <laughs> that's that's EJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's something Lego I did build recently. Oh, nice. You got some good curves on the top of that heart. Wait, wait. <laughs> Ooh, baby. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Such filthy mind. Danger curves ahead. <laughs> uh, well, good. That's built. That was fun. Those parts are just hard for me to handle because they're so small. But what? they're good quality. Everything stays together nice. What is that? This is Ad uh, Adam Brick. Oh, okay. What is it supposed to be of? The Unity Temple. It's a it's a Frank Lloyd Wright building. Okay, cool. Here, here's the there's the instruction book from it. How's the clutch power on those bad boys? 
good. It's it, yeah, the quality seems pretty good. Nice. Good to hear. Yeah, so but he's just doing museum sets and that. He just sent me a couple to play with. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to, you know, build a set just to see. Well, I can always I can always take one of these apart and mail it to you and you can build it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the uh, I've got the, the U five hundred five submarine from the Museum of Science Institute upstairs. Did you that say was sub actually, submarine? Yeah, that was actually a much cooler build than, than the temple. That sounds like a cool build. <laughs> yeah, if, if you if you look at my Facebook page at all, Kevin, you'd see I posted a picture of it. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I'm friends with two thousand people. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah, it's a lot of people to keep track of. I work on cutting my friends list all the time. Yeah, it annoys I, me. It annoys me that Facebook won't let me just clear everything out and say, "Just show me what people post," you know, without filtering people out of it. Yeah, I got you. Because uh, there's no way to just guarantee uh, you see X Y Z's posts. Uh, right. Kind of frustrating. Ken says, sent you some Google photo videos. Okay. I'm interested in to see if your uh, ejector seat works better. Always good. <laughs> this is riveting content, Reed. <laughs> you might want to put it back to everybody instead of just staring <laughs> behind. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, well, you know, I'm sorry. Happen. Are you do whatever you want. Yeah, building. 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 What can I say? You know, it is your show, my friend. That is true. It is my show. I think we made it. Uh, I don't know. We made six or so, so many hours last week. You streamed for six hours last week. I think so. Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, actually, I think when I was starting to. Uh, uh, Mike B was one of the last ones there. I think it, by the time I was getting groggy and uh, babbling, I said it's time to end the stream. So, <laughs> oh, you'd be ending the stream all the time then, Reed. <sighs> well, that means that means you're all babbling. Then it means you know not just me. You know what's going on, Bfab? <laughs> Moto is asking. Um, why is Brian just long pause there? <laughs> I was I was looking at some stuff on my computer. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. It was even better when you were on the big screen the whole time. <laughs> well, I was. That's what I was. I just fight, got back to the thing. I was thinking, oh god. I well, you know, Brian forgot to go time. back out to the warehouse. That was the problem. If he'd gone back to the warehouse, he'd have been. Fine. I, I, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the warehouse uh, before I leave here. There you go. Back in the warehouse. There you go. That was a quick trip. That was pretty sneak. Yeah. It'd be pretty awesome if you had one of those uh, pee boxes, like just next to you on the floor. And so when you lean down, you can pull it up like you grabbed it off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> He really is there. Yeah, it was kind of funny. I don't have those. I have the black ones. I don't have those boxes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, other Kevin. <laughs> yeah, what's that? I think that's like the, the, the largest size. It's like, I don't know. What, what, what size is the black ones? What, what do they call that? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> they call that unavailable. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still want to. Order. I want to still try. Come on. Pretty much. Pretty much. Here we go. We got a couple. I like. Of I like this background better. I have a bunch of the the black ones. If you want them, Reed, I can. We can continue to trade. Trade, huh? I don't really care. I don't care what receptacle is holding my plastic elements. Wait, wait, but but those what? aren't. Those aren't consumer safe boxes, Kevin. Those are only for the manufacturing area. That is that is true. What are you building? <laughs> That's okay. It won't bother me at all. 
Oh, I, I think, Reed, I'm gonna have to make you sign a waiver first. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> oh, now you're in a where are you in a hangar now? Yeah, yeah. I'm at the Air Force Museum. Oh, of course. That's a B B36 behind me. As we all oh. have in our home. So we're working, we're working the bigger sets. We're gonna do a I'm here a little little late, Kevin. I've been helping a friend homeschool her kids a little bit. And I gave them an assignment uh, to use the Air Force uh, plane catalog for the museum and look at all the X planes in the museum and come back and write me a report on which one they like best and why. That's cool. And uh, so today we had a Zoom call to go over their paper. Yeah. And I had a colonel from the Air Force join us on the call. And Did he so, have his uh, outfit on, like his uniform? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm, in, I'm in the Air Force Museum and he's there. And then the kids join us and they're like, who's that? <laughs> I said, that's a colonel in the Air Force. He's here to hear what you have to say. They were, oh. Nice. I picked this up when I helped move Kevin to Enfield back, you know, whenever that was. So, Do we have Company. a real – is that a real BFAB in the chat or is that a fake BFAB? That seems like an interesting comment, that last comment he put on there. I don't know. BFAB, tell us something only the real BFAB would know. That seems like, I don't know, that one seems like a, a slightly ruder comment. Ruder than what would be normally from him? <laughs> uh, MJ Bricks, I don't think so. You don't think that is the real BVAP? <laughs> You'll be more specific. What don't you think? I just don't think. No, well, that's one way. It's, it, keeps me, it keeps me in the most trouble that way. Yeah, my son uh, earlier in the week uh, had an assignment kind of similar-ish to that, but it was the zoo. So they went to the San Diego Zoo and watched all the like, webcams, and he had to pick an animal and that's cool. draw it and talk about it. And he picked the condors, and it was funny because he drew their habitat, and he, he had this little, like, gray box in the corner and i was like what's that gray box and he's like that's the webcam that we were watching it from and i was like oh <laughs> all right well, you what got it all pretty good all righty oh hey uh, you all i don't know if you got on the waiting room or not uh read but i'm gonna bail okay you all have a wonderful evening you too, Brian. Thanks for joining oh, me. Go abuse my dog. Okay. Well, right. See you later. Later. Bye. See, it was quick. It was like he didn't even leave. Left field Hinkle spider sense. For which thing? For for seeing if beef have a real or not? Or, I don't know. Beef have a uh, since then, so I don't know if that What's your right it. field Hinkle spider sense? It's much less, uh, it's like a useless skill. It's like Meg's ability to grow her fingernails at will. <laughs> uh, Dude, Jude says that's a fake BFAB. Did you guys? Did you guys use your mod powers and kick the fake one out? I don't know. I, don't, I think he just left. Mm -hmm. I'm glad my client is back on the panel. Read well. Uh, well, where was the bribe? I mean, uh, maybe I'll move him back into the uh, into the waiting room. Uh, welcome. What was that? Yeah, you know, reworks off commissions, bribes, discounts, all those sorts of things. I was saying, uh, hello, Steve. Building with Steve. Yep. Uh, you know, uh, poly bags are the easiest thing to bribe me with. You know. Reed, do you have any mods in the chat right now? Oh. I don't know. Are you a mod? You might be a mod, aren't you? I don't know. I don't actually. I don't know off the top of my head if I am or not. I think Kevin uh, is. Huh? Uh, what, what kind of mod? A uh, brickhead family. A troll's life is for only so long. Their attention span is that of a housefly. <laughs> How? That's a. Short attention span. It is. It 
you know how to do that, right, Reed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm adding a couple right now. If you want, you can mod me. I'll take care of it. Well, I threw a couple in there already, but yeah, I can do that. Too. Can you imagine, like, <laughs> I just pictured, like, dodgeball when they throw the wrench at the guys. You're like, you're mods now. I'm just throwing a couple wrenches out there. <laughs> you're a mod now. <laughs> if you, can well, dodge I mean, uh, you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. Exactly. <laughs> Thank what you. I was trying to think of the exact phrasing of that. Moto has the power. By the power of Grayskull. Oh, 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 there's Doc. Doc. Is Doc, in the power of YouTube. Welcome. We got a Doc Sampson in the chat. I made ah. a couple mods. There's a couple mods. Be like, it's hammer time. I already put. I put the one guy in timeout because I went. I. See, I don't think I do. I get to see the mess. I don't think I get to see the messages in here that are like help for review. I only get to see them in the uh, in the uh, YouTube. So I mean, oh. I went over there to look, and he, I was like, "Really? Hmm, okay, yeah, that guy's a uh, he's gone." <laughs> I was like, I saw that. I'm like, "Yeah, he's gone." That's not very. That's not very nice. Let me go and see if uh, – I'm curious if I'm a mod. I will not be offended if I'm not in the least. I, I'm pretty uh, sure I made you a mod when we first started. Oh, that. yeah, I am. I got the little wrenchy wrench. Yeah. So I mean, be a hammer. Like, why isn't it a hammer? Um, that's a good question. Well, you're modifying. On, uh, on Twitch, mods are a sword, I think. Mm. I don't know. Are they trying to make you feel more powerful than you actually are? Yeah, absolutely. No problem, Moto. You know, we got be skill. careful modding people though, because um, Shy Time came into Brickhide's stream and said, "Hey, can I be a mod?" And he modded him, yeah. and it was a troll. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> and they like timed out every single person in the chat. <laughs> Well, I only I only made a couple, so I mean I think I did you. You only uh, did it in moderation. Moto, and then uh, who else? Uh, I don't know who else I made? Um, oh, Brick. Oh, I made Nick. That was a fake Nightbot once. I just I wish know, somebody had, had better things to do than pretend to be somebody else. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. That's not really a good use of time or energy. You're stupid. <laughs> Is it you? Are you the one that's pretending? Me? Yeah. It's exactly. I'm, no, I'm, not you. The one that said it was stupid. The other Kevin. The other Kevin. Verif Normally before mining, there's a verification on the person. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know. Well, I, I got to do it before the, before, the, before the trolls decide to make, uh, you know, copies of you guys, you know. So hopefully it's the real one now. And then, you know, later on they'll come in and I'll know that it's not the right one because I'll, you know, basically if I made all my regulars mods, then I would know if they weren't right because they wouldn't have a wrench. Dun, dun, right. dun. That actually makes sense too. All my all the regulars are mods. Another. And when the fakes come in, they just, you know, they don't look like everybody else. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, you know, I make, you know, I have I a lot of history with the Denlug people, so those people I definitely, you know. Oh, but yeah. Hey, fake butt shop here to screw with you guys. <laughs> no. Can't be any worse than normal. <laughs> Is this one of those cases where like there's an evil twin and a good twin, and you're like, this whole time you thought you were like speaking with the good twin? Like, uh -oh. Well, in butt shop's case, it's an evil twin and an evil twin. So. An e evil and eviler? Like a win-win. 
Evil and Evil. Like like two that. cheeks of the same butt chop. Two cheeks on the same butt chop. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, a, that's a good hashtag there. Uh, building with Steve says, this all just shows that social media was a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, post that in Twitter and see what kind of response you get. <laughs> it just, the phone just bursts into flames. <laughs> All right, I need an opinion here. Oh, we have plenty of those. Great. If I'm doing an owl face, which eyeball do you like? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Got to get you a big screen. So it's for a brickhead. You want to see the brickhead eye? Uh, I I like I like the the brickhead eye just because I, I, I don't do. yeah. I don't I don't like the extra white around it for the other one. What about oh the solid with no gl yeah. no glint? You're going no glint. <laughs> um, and then you'll have let's see where I'm looking for it. I don't know something like you'll have an eyebrow of oh, sorts. Yeah. That's it. That's what we're talking mm -hmm. about. You want to do that? Okay. That looks good to me. I'll use the bird kit I bought. Oh, I remember the days of seeing Denver Broncos stuff everywhere. Oh, <laughs> at all any, times. Any real butt shop here? Screw, screw you guys. The real butt shop. Screw you guys. So the fake ones, like screw you guys. The real one. Screw you guys again. <laughs> Love it. Why is this all right? I'll watch out. The reason it's take three is because I've already I already have a couple out there from that I tried to do with Zoom and Zoom was uh, let's just say is now back on my crap list again. So what chop authentication process complete? <laughs> you uh, yeah identity has been verified. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was not. There was a fake BFAB though, uh, chop. Yeah, he definitely uh, was probably a fake. So. Definitely, probably. That's right. Definitely. Well, you know what they say. 75% of the time, it works 100% of the time. <laughs> All and now, we hope you enjoy Larry's desk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, who's a moderator on this? Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, man. You're hey, you're over a hundred episodes in, man. You need to be a pro by now. Well, I was until Zoom and YouTube decided to just not talk to each other, do updates that don't work with the darn. I mean, yeah, you know, what can I say? Take a crap All I hear is excuses, Reed. Well, I like excuses. They work the well. Poor craftsman that blames his hammer. I like excuses. Oh, is it 50% of the time? I thought it was, I couldn't remember the exact quote. 50% of the time, it works every time. There it is. 60% of the time, it works every time. It's somewhere in the percentages. Uh, actually, actually, right now it's uh, right now I would say it's working at about five percent of the time. It's oh goodness! All right, I don't know if you guys saw this. I saw a Netflix trailer. Was it Netflix? Yeah, I think it was Netflix for a show that I'm actually kind of excited for, and I don't ever really watch TV. Was it Space Force? It was Space Force. <laughs> uh, it's starring Steve Carell. And he's like been put in charge of space. It's so good. Like the trailer, I was dying in the trailer. I was like, There's so many like staple comedians in that. Just in the in the generals that they show around the table. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I like it when I mean that first thing where they're he like starts laughing. They're like, uh -huh. Space Force, who's in, what is is that real? Like, yeah, and you're in charge of it. Oh. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. I'm sorry. Watch the trailer. <laughs> it looks really funny. I, I was like, <laughs> how much did that cost? Four. Four middle schools. <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> Pretty good. Check it right out. Go Check out the trailer. trailer. Do 
Does anyone know official release date of Monkey Kid theme? I do. Uh, there's supposed to be an announcement on the 15th, but who knows when it's actually going to be released. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I'm looking forward to a couple of sets from it. I was really hoping it'd be more historical based, not modern slash modernized, but eh, well. They got to, man. Otherwise, they can't copyright it. Hmm. I didn't think about that. If they if they go too close to like the actual folklore and, yep. and all that, then it's public domain and you can't copyright huh. it. Interesting. Never even considered that. But I mean, I thought they from the little bit I've seen, I'm like, that's a that's a okay. I I respect your the approach. I, I re respect your approach to it. Kevin Hinkle is giving your approval his approval, Lego. I won't buy any of them, but I'll I'll shake my head in approval. In the not bad with your head slightly tilted. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So Kevin was uh wasn't uh Todd gonna make an announcement about a show for next year? Was that I thought that was coming? Is that May or oh that was you know what he was. His goal was to announce it. To lock it in, an announcement. What did he say? By the end of April? I think he said he wanted it by May 1st. Uh, and then the world fell apart, Reed. <laughs> I, I, don't think, I mean, we, we've talked a couple times, and he's not made any mention of that. So I would, I don't even think the contract ever got signed. Do you know where it was at? Uh, I do, but I was not. I was told to not share. Well, you don't have to tell. I was just curious if you knew. But I, I was. Uh, Todd did. Uh, he had a small inner circle of me, and I think two other people that were allowed to vote on the final location from like two or three other places. Was it as small as the Sanscon inner circle? Sanscon people? <laughs> was it as small as the Sanscon inner circle? Oh no, it was smaller. It was smaller than the Sanscon. Wow. I'm building a car now, a sports car. Is everybody said Samsung 2020 is not going to happen? Well, I thought he was doing a virtual. It was a virtual Samsung. I just want to make the really nicely. Is, it, is Samsung 2020 going virtual? That's no, what I heard. I think it, that's what I heard. I think I, it needs to be postponed until next year. That's what I think. Samsung 2021? But I, it needs to have a very nicely worded PR statement like letter. That's what I need to say. Kevin, that used to be your thing. Can you write that up? I know it did used to be my thing. Yeah, yeah get on that. I'll yeah, do it. You know what I was just thinking is today the theme of the Doodle Stream was green. Yeah, right. And Kevin drew me Green Lantern, Kyle Rayner. It was my favorite Green Lantern. Oh, funny! I was like, wait a minute, where did I see that? That is the thing that happened. That occurred today. What did, did you, you, know that? Did you I, know that Kyle Rayner is an artist? No, I did not know that. He was a freelance artist, I believe. I know. Very, oh, look, he's Larry's got him on a on a mural, right, or a mosaic. No, I've actually got your Doodle Stream. Playing. Oh, that's the stream. I thought that was a, a Lego model back there. And I was like, that's for you. <laughs> no. That'd be awesome. That's um. Cool. Thanks for watching it. No, I just like to put it, you know, some kind of crap back there, you know, just to keep the screen. Yeah, you know, the, the best <laughs> junk. The best junk the internet can provide. I, I was just thinking how awful it would be if on the same day as the green theme, the Green Lantern drawing, yeah. Kevin found my green piece. Oh, is that what you were thinking? That's, I mean, that's a good thought. Why did you lose a green piece? What did what did you think, Vibe? Like, uh, what did you feel like the the theme was? It was it good? Was it good to have a themed episode? I liked it. I, I, I did like it actually. I, I love. I mean, I I I mean, it might be just because my drawing got drew and Green Lantern's one of my favorite. I mean, Superman and Green Lantern are my two favorite superheroes. Kyle's my favorite. You know, it's funny. Like, I literally just got a um, custom. Kyle Rayner little figure yeah. the other day. That's cool. Uh, Brickhead Family says, and he drew the Toxic Avenger. Um, building with Steve <laughs> says, quote, some kind of crap like your show, Kevin. <laughs> but I, um, <laughs> Kyle's changed many times over the years, maybe. They all have, right? Haven't they? 
Yeah, well, yeah, but Kyle's kind of changed a lot. Maybe. Look at that. But it's on the screen now. Um, I did like the theme. I liked it a lot. Later, MJ. Yeah, I feel like, um, from my perspective of the guy drawing, think, MJ, okay. I don't feel like it's incredibly restricting. It's just like, no, okay, I don't, there, I mean, there, is as it long to, as the topics are broad, I mean, Reed, make me big. <laughs> right. Use the uh, use the mushroom item. There you go. That's pretty good. Um, Where did you get that from? What was the maker? I honestly don't know who made it. Oh, I got it from a friend. Um. Anyway, thank you, Reed. No problem. I decided to take you off quicker than later. I know? was just I, honestly, Reed. I was just about to compliment. That was some slick <laughs> skills you had that time. Probably that accidental. Like, Accident. Yeah, the other guy is not going to compliment that much because he doesn't want me to get a big head. So I, you know, I just you know that's coming. I guess it would be determined on like I'm not a big Christmas fan, so if you did a Christmas themed one, I would probably not be very happy. Oh, yeah. I mean, I probably would. Like when with holidays and stuff come up. Um, but I'm thinking like, uh, yeah, I'm I'm I was happy with it, and I feel like you know there'll be things like vehicles. Like one one will be all vehicles. And one will be uh, video games. One will be film. One will be television. Uh, as long as it's broad. I mean, I, I yeah. was trying to think of a narrow topic. Like, well, like my my example when we were in the stream was like, you know, there's not going to be a uh, the stream. You can only pick Super Mario Brothers characters. So like, nah, I can do that. I mean, I can see Nintendo characters. Yeah, I mean that. that I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, I've been a Nintendo guy for so long, but I mean, there's Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, Toad, all the Zelda, stuff. Link. Uh, Butchoff says it's nice to hear Brick Vibe's voice again in a stream. Yeah. Butchoff. I'm on That's stream a while, often, although I haven't in the last few weeks just because I've been so busy. Butchoff, did you get my Instagram when you asked me about my my poly bags? The screen basically ended, so I sent you an Instagram message with a link to it, and Re posted a link in the chat earlier too. Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Yeah. I can even post it again too if I needed to. But no, I mean, like I, like I said, I think if um if the topic is good, it it should be a great stream. I mean, I, I really like today. Yeah, thanks. I I'm I'm gonna I'll stick with it. You know, see how it goes for a few more weeks. I was good at a minimum. I spent all my time listening to it, you know. I mean, I, was... I would kind of like YouTuber... YouTuber Sig Figs would be an interesting one, although that one's not, that's not very good. I don't know if that's very good. <laughs> uh, but YouTube, you know, YouTube as a theme might be pretty interesting. I don't know. Do what? Like YouTube as a theme. Well, I said YouTubers, YouTubers, sig figs. Right, but I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> After I said that, I realized that's kind of what you get paid to do. So that's probably not such a good topic. Well, I don't. So I don't mind doing that. I've actually had some people reach out to me before, and they're like, "Hey, could you do X, Y, or Z?" And I'm like, "Sure." Uh, it's how much it costs, and they go, "Oh, never mind." And then <laughs> later on, they'll follow. They, you know, they follow me on social media or whatever, and they they realize I do an art stream. And I've had people ask me, they're like, if I request you to do this during the art stream, can you do it for free? And I'm like, yeah, I mean, that's what I do. I take requests. And if you request the thing you wanted to hire me to do, and I happen to choose yours, yes. But keep in mind that this is not the same quality. And it's not, I mean, I'm going to literally take maybe 30 minutes at most to do it. And it's going to be rough. And I'd be happy to clip it and send it to you, but it'll be a raster image. You can't, it's not vector in any way, so you can't use it for any printing purposes. And they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> well, slow down with your directions, Kevin. Huh? Slow down with those directions. Vectors and rasters. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, gonna, you, you, that file you sent me is not a vector. I was going to blow that up and put it on my wall. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Uh, it, is not, it is not a vector. Can you make it? Can you just convert it real quick for me? I've actually only ever had uh, so far one client who uh, preferred to not have a vector 
uh, logo and uh, has since found out that that has created more issues. I, I tried. I said, I really need to have a vector. Uh, and he didn't want it. And so then we, here we are years later. He's like, uh, I'm realizing I'm having quality issues. I'm like, yes, yes, you are. <laughs> That's how it works. And I warned you a couple years ago, and you did not listen. I've been asked, I'm like, well, can you just make it vector? I'm like, I would be happy to, but I will charge you again the same amount because I'll be redoing your logo again. <laughs> That's gonna. I'm, dude, we'll dude, I just wanted to convert the Green Lantern into a vector file. It's not. It's not that hard, Kevin. Well, so there are some cheats, right? There's some cheats that you can use. Like I can use uh, Illustrator's built-in uh, trace feature. And it can vector it for you. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's pretty bad. Uh, it just kind of depends, and you can you can play around with the output of it. Uh, Moto says vector art is essential. Top dollar, y'all, for talent. Look at all this Lego uh, sorting disassembly action. And I guess building. I guess there's things going together as well. And then there's me. Just the ominous void. Oh, oh, well, here. Hold on, hold on. What do you what do you got there, Larry? Show us. Show us. Show us. No, that I'm, I'm building. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. I like my sick pig holding a gun. Oh jeez. <laughs> Wouldn't that how be many, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? You know, if you're holding a gun, make sure it's a Gatlin gun. You know, lots, lots of things. You don't, you don't, you don't think my sick pig holding a gun would be way better? Who? Yeah, maybe. Maybe like one of those, uh, you know. Uh, you know this illustrator trace is horrid. Yeah, it kind of depends. It depends on what you're doing it for, um, but most of the time, it's not super reliable. Uh, the, the, um, I'm a designer at work. The craft is appreciated. That's the number one reason I keep designing. Yeah, for sure. You know, Kevin, I was thinking about um, when you were talking about James Bond the other day. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when they did the James Bond car that first opening weekend or that first like week or so. Yeah, they gave you a card that said license to build. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I couldn't remember if they actually went through it with the whole thing or not. I could not remember. But was it was it an actual tangible thing? Or was yeah, it I mean, marketing? I mean, I'm looking for it right now. I thought I had it. My finger. Machop says the only one I don't have yet it that is. is on my list is the Ninjago merchant bag. I cut my finger, but check. Um, check. Read, make me big. Read, oh, there make me big. There's, there's the license. You're right. Is that was that something you had to get to, early on? Then I take it or what? Yeah, it was like the opening weekend or the opening. <laughs> I don't know, however long. Is that now? Is that? Is that a special card or a VIP card or what is it? Just it's just a card. card. That, that's yeah. That's probably one of those VIP early access first hundred buys or something, something like that. Like that. Oh, make me big again. Oh, do they still do that? Does Lego still do the whole like VIPs get early access to sets or no? Yeah, they do sometimes. Sometimes. So that that is it, guys. Well, he doesn't want me to be big. It's okay. I'll go try. <laughs> you were big for a little bit. Where's my finger and stop making? You, you used to be big, you know, on Thursday nights, and then you know, then you stopped streaming, so you know, you became small again. I thought you were. Hey, look, dude, like, like right next to my license to build card. Yeah. <laughs> Make well, me big. On. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Whose is that? Yours. <laughs> oh, I can't even. There's no like name on it. It's right like there. it's look, totally look, eroded. Looking at it, it's totally eroded. Look at the email address. Oh yeah, there it is. Wait, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Kevin at Lego.com. <laughs> Everybody want to see my social security card? Oh yeah. All right, put them on the big screen. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. 
Uh, Butchop says, I have most in the three I am missing besides Ninjago. I am not worried about. He goes, it's just a card. Vintage. Vintage? I need to open my box. Um, Ryan sent me one of the black VIP card thingies. Well, what is Larry eating? What do we got? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing to see here. Did you bring it up to share? Pay no attention to the man behind the screen. You didn't share your fish sticks earlier, Reed, so... Whatever. <laughs> yeah, come on, Reed. <laughs> uh, okay, what a, well, hey, you know, I, you know, and actually, Kevin, I should have sent you some of this. I should have sent you some of this with your, uh, with your shipment. Uh, Reed, I've gained so much weight during this stupid thing. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> the, problem is, the problem is, is there was no room with, with the two sets of CMFs that were in there. Unfortunately, there were no more room. So. <laughs> you get a bigger container, Reed. Butt shop says, ha Reed was eating fish sticks. <laughs> uh, I was eating fish fillets, but, you know, close. Were they in sticular form? <laughs> what? <laughs> the uh, fish fillets were cut into small strips. Talk about you know, a narrow conversation. <laughs> oh, we lost M Lego 17. Uh, he's without video. He mm -hmm. Isn't it pronounced mm, Lego 17? Is it? Is I it? don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> that's, the, that's the question. I don't know. Testicular form. <laughs> I do not think the fish fillet was in testicular form. <laughs> it could be pesticular form, right? <laughs> or pesticular form. I'm almost done. This is the last. This is the last Mario. I know. I found lots of gaming stuff. So if I don't stream for six hours, I'm definitely gaming it. And I hate tearing mocks apart. That's just so sad. Yeah, it's not super fun. The price you pay. Hey, you got to take a chance. The good news is, if it, if stuff like so, I mean, these were yes, these were stuff that I had built to try to sell, and they didn't sell. So the good news is, I can take it apart and use them for other things. Um, like the guys, as opposed to like you know printing out like a droid I like uh, posters and stuff, and that those can't sell. Then it's just like, <laughs> I know. I know it's starting to get old now, but I am just totally fascinated by the tin. What is it? The tin whatever, tin build. Oh, yeah. You weren't even going to try and sell those next uh, at the at that virtual brick world, Kevin. You weren't even really no. modeling for that. No, it's not worth it. I tried to sell them like three, four, five times, and then I put them online, and nobody was interested. I'm, I'm done. How much were you trying to sell them for? Fifty bucks. I thought it was an absolute steal uh, because I counted out the parts. And these are yeah, like the black display stand that they all were on. Uh, and it was about $47 worth of parts. <laughs> so well, that's a great deal. I was like, you're literally giving me $3 for my time. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you should have sold some, but you know. You right. should have waited. Like Mo Moto just said, man, coordinated with Mario sets, those might sell. Yeah, it's all good. It's fine. It was something I was experimenting with when I first started selling. I'm like, I had prints, I had stickers, I had enamel pins, I had minifigures, and I had Lego sculptures. And Bloodshot says you need to put a sticker on it with a limited edition number. That's <laughs> it. Brick Freak 3 is in the chat. Hey, Reed, I don't have an email to join. I feel like Brick Freak says that every week. Does he have different emails he uses every week or is like disposable burner emails or what? Uh, Moto, I had, I, I didn't personally sign them, but I do have like signature, signature bricks and signature tiles that I add to the models. Is your signature tile the black two by two tile? Uh, it is a one by six or one by eight. What is it? It's a one by, it's a one by eight black tile. And then I also have a one by eight black brick.
I still like putting them on uh, the mox though. Like I'll put the tile on the on the, like, you know, like an artist signature on the mock. I mean, I remember how Kevin was totally um, upset when I um, put my sig fig on his models at Brickster. Was it really? Yes. I don't believe you. So upset that he took it and did not give it back. I, I mean, I probably that was it became my property once it was placed upon. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, maybe upset's not the right word. Enraged, In, absolutely livid. There you go. Uh, Brick Freak Three says, "HBO." How about you? I was like, "What does HBU mean? Is that like a HBO ripoff?" <laughs> Brick Freak's version of HBO. You got sign in blood, this chop. It's okay. I don't mind. I tried something, and you know, it didn't work out. I tried at several different events, and I tried online. How many did you make? Uh, I made ten. Ten Mario's, ten Links, and ten Pikachu. And and did you sell any of them? I I sold. Um, I think I sold three Mario's, and I think I sold two Links. I sold no Pikachu, and I also donated. Uh, I donated a Mario and I donated a link to Creations for Charity last year. Did they sell or not? Um, yeah, no, wait, they did. Really trying to rub it in, Reed, huh? I don't know. I was just trying to figure out if you remember if they sold or not. You know? Did they sell? Well, because <laughs> in that point, <laughs> because if they sold, maybe you know, maybe I don't. Know. They, they did not sell at the price that I. Well, they bumped up the price because they're like, "How much do you sell these for?" And they bumped it up, I think, to like a hundred bucks or something. Oh, and, uh, no one's gonna buy for that. Uh, butt chop says I put my butt chop Lego plaque in front of Kevin's mom. <laughs> I remember that was awesome. That was one of the funniest things Chop did at. Uh, at Philly, but right, it was Philly. I don't think he did that at Brickworld. But uh, putting the putting his plaque on all the mocks and taking pictures is hilarious. <laughs> Sounds like a chop thing to do. It sure does. Who else but butt chop? Yoy Karamba. What happened there? Missed something. This is just in there. Uh, so Moda says, if you're going to do the doodles, why not cut them out at weird angles and sell those? That's interesting. I put a lot of, uh, or not all, I, I, not a lot. I put all of the doodles from 2019 into like a big uh, 11 by 17 collage. And I thought that was really cool. And I put that on social and I was like, hey, uh, anybody interested in getting this as a print? Would this be interesting to anybody? This is literally all the doodles from about 50 hours worth of streaming for the year. Did and you? A lot of people liked it, but I didn't get like a single comment that was like, I buy this. So I was like, I'm not going to go print them because no one's going to buy it. Did you, um, how many doodle streams did you do last year? Uh, not that many because it was every other week. Oh, and um, I actually, I know, I know this. What is it? Um, That's what you should do is, I did 17. I did 17 doodle streams. Uh, last year. When you get to 50, yeah. Put the doodles into a book and just do a print on demand thing. You, you probably won't make a ton of money, but you see if people want it so it doesn't cost you anything. Yeah, that might be cool. But I'm, I'm all up for trying stuff out. I would, I could see myself buying a book of the doodle, a, a book. Ideally, it'd be nice to get a year. Yeah, you want a you want a, a hefty, you know, sample. <clears throat> but um, since you did it every other week, and then this week, this year you've been doing it all year long, right? Yeah, every week. So it'd be cool to get 
like this entire year, or maybe the first one you do do at the end of this year and do the first year and all of this year and then do it yearly after that. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of like content that's building up, which is kind of cool. It's just finding out what to do with it. Yeah, you're content with that? Right. <laughs> Hello, Trap Jaw. Welcome, Trap Jaw. Was that the name of the He Man villain? Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, and then the Trap Jaw's icon, I think, is that same person you're thinking of. Oh, is it? The YouTube symbol? The uh, the profile picture? Oh, yes. It looks like you're right. Dude Jude says, yes, it was Kevin Wagner. I've got a giant pile of Super Mario 8-bit corpses. So, planning Mother's Day is kind of difficult in the global pandemic. <laughs> Not a lot of buffets open. Yeah. <laughs> Not enough. Not enough exciting places to go, huh? Well, our tradition was to go to a really nice buffet on Mother's Day. Yeah. Uh, yeah that doesn't really work. That's out of the question. Yeah. You know? well, unless they do. Takeout or a, a buffet, buffet takeout. takeout. All you can eat curb eight, eight of those. Eight of those. <laughs> yeah. Trap Josh says, Yep, no brunch unless I'm making it. Yeah. All the Marios are dead. Now it's time for old Link. <laughs> That's a fun noise. That's delightful. Am I the only one to hear that, or is that me? I hear it too. I hear it too. Not me, but it's muted myself. I can hear it as well, so it's not in Lego. Uh, what? No, it's, it's oh. not up to Kevin. Okay. Yeah, Who I did it myself, but it's still going. Who wins this contest? It's Reed. Reed, mute yourself. Yeah, it's totally Reed. Well, Reed, it's been fun having you on the show this week. We'll <laughs> see you next week. <laughs> what does that sound, Reed? Reed, pick yourself and bring yourself back in. Have you not been using fabric software? Reed killed his own stream. <laughs> Like, Reed, I'm being serious. Kick yourself and bring yourself back in. You're just Not waiting really. to take over the stream. That's what Butt Chop would do. <laughs> All right, now it's the Brick Vibe Show. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome back. Are, you, are we giving away Chima Ice Bears? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Free Chima Ice Bears to everyone in the chat. Nice. <laughs> We just need shipping details. 
<laughs> Private message read. <laughs> No purchase necessary. Enter as often as you want. Uh, so, read. Uh, be aware that you'll be getting some shipping details sent to you. <laughs> Did what? You hear what you're doing? What? Oh, so um, Kevin, not either Kevin, but Kevin um, decided to do a contest while you were gone. Um, and basically, everybody in the chat gets a free a ice bear. Ice bear. They're all gonna. Ah. E everybody's gonna email you at their not email, but send their email or send their address to your Instagram account. He's going to block everybody. He's going to be like, it's all spam. <laughs> they all want, they all want that a was the end I, of Friday yeah, I Night Tricks. I can do a crock prisoner. No problem there. No, no. Chima Ice Bear. Oh, no. The Ice Bears, the Ice Bears would, uh, they'd probably uh, tar and feather every April that would ever come to a show. So I, I really don't want all the Aples to hate me. So I could send a croc. They're they're less dangerous. So <laughs> Brick Bunny's TV is already throwing the P.O. box in the chat. <laughs> Reed, did you get that? Write it down. No. The snowy it. noise equals free ice bear giveaway. <laughs> this will be like a radio contest where they're like, did you hear that noise? That means it's time for another Chima ice bear giveaway. <laughs> I, plugged something in, I plugged something in by default that changed my mic. Oh, uh, did you really? What is that? What did you plug in? Different camera. <laughs> You know, it's another ice bear giveaway. Is <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys. It looks like Brick Freak wants to join. I'll go ahead and leave so he can come in. You haven't been on a stream in a really long time. It's up to you. Yeah, I can get. I have to get going pretty soon anyway, so you can stick around and I'll head out. I'm actually going. I'm actually going home too. So if, if you're gone, I'll join back when I get home. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna scoot for now. Okay. Bye. Thank bye, you. bye. Bye. We'll, we'll catch you later. All right. Have a good night. You too. You too. Hi guys. Hello, Brick Freak. Hey, ah, the real host is here. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you better hope John never comes out of his dark age because he'll be this he'll be my co-host though. I, I think I think he's already uh what is he at? What 12 years now? I think I'm all right. You've been uh you've been <laughs> trash talking in the last couple episodes, so I don't expect him to come back. Who? John. Oh, that's right. You guys had like a argument. You know, arguments happen. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently building. Uh, if you guys want to know what I'm building, I'm building the uh, Wonder Woman set. Oh, sweet! Yeah, and yes, I do have two. Oh, why do you have two? I, I didn't um, expect that. I believe that this set will skyrocket in price. <laughs> no, uh, it's not going to be like the last one. No, probably. Yeah, maybe in ten years, but yeah. yeah. But I'm gonna. I'm willing to hold on to it for a little bit. I think. Uh, the Brick Freak Vault. That's more of a slowly balloon over time, less of a skyrocket. Yeah. I mean, I don't think anything skyrockets anymore. Oh, I, I beg to differ on that. The, uh, the Chicago modulars jumped up pretty quickly. Which one? The Ninjago modulars. Okay, let's see here. Not huge, but they balloon decently. Hey, good to see you too, dude. Jude, I'm reading the uh, chat on my phone. So, oh, you did okay. But chop, you disagree. Okay, okay. What? What happened? But chop disagrees. Uh, but chop is not happy to see Brick Brick Freak three. So I, I think he's just jealous. Yeah. <laughs> but chop, why, right. why are you not happy to see Brick, me? Man? Brick Freak is one of the best sports I know. He's got the he's got chat envy. 
chat envy. Chat oh, envy. Right, uh, break- hope and Hinkle backlog. Okay. All right. My hope and Hinkle backlog is what um uh we're calling it. More. I actually built I built a Lego set uh, last week, Brick Free. Oh yeah, well, I think I was on the stream last night. Or not last night, um last week. On Tuesday? No, the uh, read stream. Oh, I wasn't working on it then. Ah, what set did you I, build? I did the Aston Martin. Huh. It's my first Lego set I built in four months. Wow. Here it is in all of its glory. Oh, that, that's the James Bond car. Yeah. Mm. He's extremely proud of it. He's just bringing it up. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Has he been bringing it up since 7 o'clock? I think we need a Wagner. We need a Wagner meter. It's like the level of sass. <laughs> what are we sass. approaching? <laughs> Reach well, seven, what man. happens when it reaches 100%? Oh, you don't want to see that. It gets that really is, bad. That is when he reaches his his uh, Full ultimate potential. form. That, that's when it turns into just pure insulting instead of sarcasm. Oh, okay. It's, it's, I try not to cross that line, but if I'm too... Uh, if I am too aggressive about it, it turns into insults instead of humor. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Butt Chop says he's happy to see me, but he disagrees on the value of the Wonder Woman set. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said <laughs> Kevin Wagner is quite slappable. <laughs> uh, I don't know that word. I don't. I, I know the slappable with two P's. I don't know what slappable means. Uh, grammar <laughs> police. Grammar police is out. <laughs> uh, do you have anything else in your backlog that is currently available? Do you have anything else in your backlog that is currently available, or is everything retired? I think most of it is retired. Uh, can people still buy the Millennium Falcon, or is that done? Which one? The the, the only one. <laughs> no, I think I think it's just like it's always been in the old days. I think it's. Oh, just- Castle Run, uh, the Castle Run William Falcon. I think that's still available. No, the big, oh. no, the big oh, one. Eight hundred dollar one. I think they're talking about. I think the problem is, I think right now the production was stopped on it for the uh, the newer sets, and I think so with the fact that everybody's been stuck at home, they sold out of whatever they had currently in inventory. So it's just until they open the production run again, I mean, we're out for that time being. It's like the old days, because that one can't be gone. I mean, it just, it just can't be. I mean, it's only been out how many years? Four. Well, four? It's already four years? Oh my god. Bookshop's out of stock. Can't get that anymore. Oh, Which the, one? The bookshop, the modular. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of it, like the ones that generally get, you know, many years of of on the shelf. I mean, just they just don't have any right now. And then and all the all the all the uh factories are producing all the new sets that are coming out summer, August, whatever. So they just one of those things that they just don't have a chance to make them right now. So they're out of stock. I mean, it's happened with a lot of stuff over time. It's just not like it is now where there's so many out of stock. I mean, Chop has you bought the UCS Falcon for 40 bucks on clearance. If that was, if that was real top, you would be a God amongst men. Yes. Yeah. You would be a God. Not a real one. Uh, but uh, yeah. Among, Le- among Lego Falcons. Oh, I've got the Jurassic Park uh, gate. And I think that's still available, isn't it? That's not a retired set. I have the Great Hall in my backlog. I bought it in order to get that uh, the one pack. Um, here, let me go grab it. I bought the I bought another Great Hall in order to get this, which I have two of, but I kept one sealed. The Bricktober Potter pack. It was the only way I knew how to get it at the time, and I wasn't going to pay fifty when I can spend another fifty and get. Uh, free pack. Uh, Bam Rick says, "Dang, Kevin, you can make bank on the Falcon right now. People are paying crazy prices for sets that are just out of stock. That is interesting. I mean, that thing is a monster to ship, though. Yeah, we have to ship in like three different boxes. No, that was done. <laughs> like, and I'd like a refund. Uh, the Brick Orphanage says, I think they're having trouble getting stuff through customs reliably." But they're probably selling sets at record levels across the board. Yeah, it's kind of interesting because I feel like when I think the evidence shows that they're they're performing exceptionally well, 
with their online sales and their stock, but they also have what, like 200 retail locations that are not selling anything? Yeah. Well, Milwaukee, Milwaukee's going to curbside. And then somebody earlier said that the, uh, well, uh, Brian Bonham said that the Indianapolis store is, is open at 25% capacity. Okay. Yeah. So. It's just one of those things where I'm, I'm curious is, is if the having the stores be closed for two months, uh, and then the sales being so astronomical online, if it just kind of evens itself out, you know, it's like, yeah, it's not really, you know, off the charts. It's just evening out. Well, right now I'm too with the stores. I mean, I mean, they're, I mean, I'm guessing they're only probably paying payroll for manager, maybe. Yep. And no manager only manager only. Cause I mean, they're the only salaried one. I mean, and that's, I mean, thankfully they went with the, well, I would have been upset, you know, you know, cause you know, hourly, I mean, when I was hourly, but I mean, I, I was, uh, I mean, it could be different store to store. I mean, it could actually be different district to district, but some of the store managers that I still know that are in the system, in the Lego system said that their, their staffs were officially furloughed, uh, and that it, only the store managers were getting paid. What did they say about like, uh, when they reopen, were they going to hire those employees back? Well, you know how Lego works, right? <laughs> they'll, they'll, gonna, say, they'll say one thing, and then when the time comes, maybe they're wrong. So. You'll be like, wow, that was a good way to clean house. Wow, lucky us. <laughs> it and is not worked for us. Not out of the realm of normal. All right, uh, uh, I'm going to be out. Is there anybody down in the green room? No. Okay, uh, I need to go put my kid to bed and uh you know tidy up a little bit so i guess i'll just mute myself and if somebody shows up you can throw me down there okay uh, sounds good I'll be back in a little bit right. bye kevin i'll probably be gone when you get back hey, kevin. So, all right see you later uh, yeah. so yeah i mean i think it's you know yeah i mean that's kind of if you if you if you yeah if you heard all kept the uh mr hinkle stories i mean from his show and stuff you're right it's one of those things where They'll get rid of people, and then they'll just hire that same position right back. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. I guess they just wanted they didn't like those people, I guess. Oh, well. So I'll put stickers on this car. Pretty, pretty much needs it. So. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, wait. We need two of these? Okay. Where are they? The second one? Okay. Well, oh, other Kevin, what are you, are you building something or taking something apart? Building. What are you working on? Uh, some castle uh, or uh, buildings from a city. Oh, mock or set? What was right. that? Mock or a set? Mocks. Oh, cool. So I'm working on a couple of different. Oh, you mean like they'll look like castle type buildings? What you're saying, type kind of thing? Or? No, they'll be. It, it's medieval city buildings. It's just from the castle era. Oh, it's for, okay. It's for guilds of Historica. Kind of, kind of like you know, like medieval market village type kind of styles. Yes, kind of that sort of thing. Okay. Is it is it for something special or what? It's for guilds of Historica. Oh, okay. On your bricks. Oh, okay. And I might be, if I can get them done, I'll be displaying them next week at the Brick World, virtual Brick World. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Cool. Yeah, I get, I get a break from that for a while. That's good. It works like this. So that's cool. Yeah. I don't want to rip this sticker. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to. Sweet. Oh, interesting. That's better. This. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, Bama says, I know in Alabama, people that are on unemployment are making more than they went were when they were working. Yeah, we. I think you and I were talking about that last week. I think. I think Bama was in the at the at the end. I think we were talking about that. So I mean, yeah. I just feel sorry for some of those guys when it comes to tax time next year. Oh, um, in, in for one hell of a surprise. Yeah. You know those hammers that they use on Lego Masters? The what? The, like the little hammers to like hammer down the pieces? I did not understand that. It didn't make any sense to me that they were doing that. I think I, I want one of those hammers. Just sometimes just, you just get a rubber mallet, basically, is what it is. Yeah. I think, but like, I, I think it would be cool it would, if Lego would make a Lego branded. Well, yeah, they could. I mean, it's yeah. basically, I mean, I've got one I used for, uh, and there's my car. Well, actually, I've still got uh, Kevin highlighted. Uh, here's my car that I built. Oh, that's cool. One of the racers for City. Uh, basically, um, I mean, I use one of those rubber mallets for taking apart like my inner metro shelving and stuff. So I've got one of those rubber mallets out of my part, out of my storage. So that's the only one I think I put stickers on, other than maybe the boat. The boat got stickers. I think it's time to go to something bitter, bigger and badder. We're going to well, shoot, I gotta move some of these other vehicles because they're in the way now. Yeah, I took apart a couple of sets over the past like few days. I took apart the end game. I took apart two end game sets, and then what was the other one? Oh yeah, that Spider Man crawler. I just didn't need it to get it. Uh, I would take it at a later date if I want to. Not really taking any apart these days. Those sets, I'll, the city stuff, I'll keep together, add them to the city box. But I'm gonna build this guy. This is what I won from the. Uh, I won this in the bingo at Brick Fair, New England, back in seventeen. So, oh, that's cool. Nice. I, 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 yeah, as Todd said, uh, yeah, your bingo was rather loud. I go, well, yeah, I had bingo. I wanted to make sure you knew. I, that, you know, nice set. You know, the scream. I could probably take apart my GBC module, my clear GBC module. I probably don't need that anymore. That's kind of. Yes, but Chop, you are correct that they are used for. I would like. What? The um, but Chop was saying. Um, what did he say? He said they're used for building a plate on plate action for the hammers that we were talking about. Oh, was that maybe during the bridge one? Maybe. I I think so. I could be wrong though, but I think that <sighs> might have been the bridge. They showed hammers in most of the episode, like. There were a couple people that kept using them. Because mm. I was annoyed by it every time I saw it. <laughs> okay, this okay, this is a cool technique. Okay. I mean hope yeah, I mean well, I mean hope, you know, like Bama said, hopefully the Lego stores will hire their employees back. I mean, generally, I mean if they were super great employee, yeah. I mean that would be you know, that'd be the goal. I mean, definitely the better and more reliable you are. Now, if you had employees that weren't very reliable, I don't think you'll be coming back. Or really, they could play a Willy Wonka and just hire all new people. Well, I mean, the problem is, is the hiring process for Lego is, you know, I mean, it takes time. I mean, plus they do, they're supposed to be doing it now like the, like, like the, the Disney stuff where they do like, you know, a group type, uh, no, I'm good. Um, basically, where they do like the big interviews together as a group. I mean, that's supposedly what they they do. I mean, that's what they're supposedly doing at the end of mine. Um, and so you got being in a group and you're doing that. So I mean, in the end, plus it's all that training. So I mean, in the end, I mean, Lego's going to want to get back to a good level. So if the, if they already have employees that are trained, I mean, you know, then they don't. I mean, they could still train a few more, but they probably want at least a a, a group that could start right away. Mm -hmm. True, but it's not like their training is all that intensive. No, it's not. But I mean, you know, I mean, especially for the busier stores like the one that I was at, Park Meadows. Yeah, I mean, you'd want a, a good percentage back because, in terms of how busy it could get right after the the fact. I mean, maybe. I mean, maybe not. Yeah, everybody... but all you need is one person on the floor that knows the product decently, and then everyone else is just running registers. I mean, that's not difficult at all. No, I mean, it, it just depends. But I mean, like you said, I mean, like 
you know, just like with my current employer too. I mean, if there were employees that just weren't that reliable, you know, I mean, that you know, they might not want to hire some of those people back if they were borderline already at, at this. I mean, you know, I, mean, I guess it just depends. Like Kevin said, I mean, we, those of us that worked, you worked for Lego, didn't you, for a little bit? I did. Yeah. So, I mean, but those of us that were there for a long time and we've seen it all and we've literally seen it all and they've done, you know, Lego does stuff that no other company in the country, in the world would be able to get away with, but they do it somehow. So, um, it's all things where, hey, look at this. Look at the back of my instruction book. Hey, let's go play some Lego Worlds, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I remember the, the night that, um, that game came out. Me and my friend, we were both on our Xbox. We were calling each other, and the game would not like we. It was. It said, "Oh, come back at this time," and you came back back at that exact time. It wouldn't show up. We were like, "What the heck?" So yeah, I, had I, mean, I played it a little bit. I played it a little bit. There was a lot of. I mean, Lego has some decent games. So, I got yeah. stuck at one point in that game, and I, I just stopped playing. I was like, "Yep, I'm, I'm out. I'm done." Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Let's compare the motorcycles. Uh, oh, I dropped the gas tank. Yeah, you know, the new one's a little bit more stylish than the old one, but you know, I don't, think I don't even know what I'm building. This is like a lot of tan for a Wonder Woman. Like that. So, for the one of the two Wonder Woman sets out there, it's a lot of tan. Yeah, this is. Uh, yeah, it's basically got this tan front. I know. I'm just saying. Is it the second Wonder Woman set in existence? Uh, I think so, because there's one with the giant uh, mini giant mini figure. Yeah, it looks like Giant Man, kind of the same scale. There's Giant Man. Yeah, I've looked at that set a couple times when it was in the in the stores but I never got it. I, I don't know why. Which which one? Oh the giant the man giant one? man one. It I was only oh, out for a that, limited time. That one was kind of hard to come by. That was the one with the plane, yeah, right? The one I was talking about came with the plane. The Wonder Woman yeah, stuff. Yeah I got that one. But the one you got I was looking at when it uh I was looking at it the other week when I was in the store. But mm -hmm. yeah this one's not even supposed to be released yet I don't think or or it is it just know. came out yeah, that's why. Yeah, I, mean, yeah I, saw, I saw it because I was looking at uh, what else? Some, something else did come out too that I was looking at. So, but uh, I bought one minion set just to see what it was like. Oh, yeah, that was it. I bought the minion set, which I got to send out to Sands because he won the uh, the drawing last week. So. Yeah, I bought the uh, Gru one because I was like, yeah, you know what? I can use the stuff with it. Well, that, that's, 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 that's this one, that's the cycle one, right? I it built, it, built it the day I got it, but it's, I think it's all right for what you get. Yeah, that's, I think that's the one I got the cycle. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for what you get, it's it's, it's for 20 bucks. I, I like the parts. And I'm surprised it came with um the uh, young version of Guru or whatever. I think I, I thought they would do the older version, but nope. The older uh, Guru is young in the movie, so. Yeah. My sister didn't like that. It, he had hair for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, oh, bag one. How is this even possible? Am I missing something? Because I shouldn't have an extra one of these. Most of the people I've met that like Lego are morons. But Chop, who are you talking about, man? Himself. That's Okay, well, I was going to say that would make sense. I mean, you know, that's who I was thinking he was talking about, but I can't believe he'd insult himself on, you know, YouTube. But okay. Hey, is this new? Chop wood? Huh? This is new. Chop wood? That seems like a standard, I mean, once a day or once a, a podcast minimum, or podcast, once a stream minimum mm. for him. I do like the way they, I do like the way the new cycles attach. That's kind of cool. I don't know if I want to put the stickers on it. Oh, there's the piece. Okay. So that's where it goes. Okay, this is cool. Okay. Ooh, more pieces for each other. I like, I use brightly, if I find brightly colored uh, extra pieces, I'll put them in the chocolate room. I got a pink and I got a red thing with the pin. Like, boom, piece of candy. <laughs> that's 
really all it is. What do you guys do with your extra pieces? Do you sort them or? Sort them. Yeah. Unless I'm really starting to do that money, then I'll keep them separate. Yeah. I just uh, throw them, them, them into a bag. They'll end up getting put into the collection somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. Here's mine that I still have yet to sort through. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, I got them in multiple places. They just. Most keep of it's it. Technic pins, which I'm like, why? Well, Technic pins. If you ever go to Mills, you'll need you'll use lots of them. Where's which? What is Mills? Mills is the uh, the elevated building that a lot of us use to. For oh, building. okay. The technique. Okay. You people yeah. in your Mills standard. Oh, I got the new Kita. Yeah, that's kind of the only thing I really wanted from that set. Basically, Super cool. And I got the Wonder Woman's pretty cool too. This is my. Third Wonder Woman figure out of all my figures I have, out of all the Wonder Womans I have, because I have the DC uh, 2012 version. I have the, um, I don't have the movie one. Well, this is the, the second movie one. Uh, I have the, what, what am I trying to say? The collectible DC one, and I have this one. So that's all the three I have. I keep all my I I mean, two bags, which I'm like, okay. Throw them what? in the bin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll use the parts if they're something useful. I'll uh, use them in something I'm working on, but... Yeah, it's it's nice when I'm working on something and I want small details. I look through here quite often just to see what I can find. And use. Probably good probably good pl places to dig for greebling pieces. Oh, yeah. Reed, oh. Do, uh, do you want to see my prototype of an Oompa Loompa? Sure. So this is uh, what I'm currently making a bunch of. <laughs> you know what's ironic about that is the fact that when uh, Lego got rid of their first Build-A-Mini back in like 2007 or 8, they threw a bunch of the torsos into like grab bags. And so I have a crap load of red torsos. Yeah. I just got six. Wow. Of them. I mean, I, I went yeah. on Bricklink and found six of them for cheap. And then, um, uh, somebody's gonna, or, uh, yeah, someone in our lug is gonna make the stickers for the torsos that I need. Well, if you need more, you'll have to. I mean, I definitely have lots of the torsos, huh? The torsos, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I might just do six to have, have one. I had think a bag somewhere. I don't know if I ever took a picture, but I think I might have had. Probably one of the earlier streams I probably showed them when I was somewhere, but I mean I think I have probably I don't know forty or fifty of them or something. Wow. They I think they had uh, that was one of the color of the torsos, and I think they a bunch of them had some had yellow hands and some had white hands. So ooh yeah, I need them in this nougat hand color for what? I don't want to overpopulate the chocolate with minifigures. That your that audience or well I guess I guess audiences just look at the minifigures. Like I want them to see the set as a as it is. As many as the Oompa Loompas, as many of the Oompa Loompas there are, I kind of want them to be like, ooh, look at the techniques used or look at this that's been used or whatever. Yeah. Like, hey, I have that piece at home. Like I want people would be like, oh, I can make this or whatever. But really it's a it's taking me like three years. Yeah. yeah. With with all the combination of stuff probably that's yeah. my because it's been going through like many changes, so I'd, they always do. I'm yeah. saying, you know, I'm gonna probably make it like wider instead of just going straight. It's probably gonna go wider. Hopefully, <laughs> I say that now and then. Two years go by and probably nothing happens. But <laughs> that's for me to go back and rewatch. Oh yeah, speaking of rewatching, um, Reed, do you remember my first what what episode I jumped on here first? Like, what was my first episode on Friday? Uh, you have you have to go back and look. I don't. Yeah, that was one of the questions I'm like, I put it in the back of my brain so I could remember, but I was like, I know I was that uh, maybe all the Brick World hype videos, I think. I know I was in episode 60. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know. I'm guessing I joined around like 50-something. Uh, I don't think 40. That's way back there, I don't think. 
there, and then this. This is weird. Why are they not? Why are they doing that? That's for a function, I'm guessing. They. I like these pieces a lot. Oop! Can't get out of here. There we go. This piece, this clear piece, because I can uh -huh. use it for. It's it's to make Wonder Woman fly in the. Yeah, I use those. I use those for uh, all the jet packers on my uh, in the castle. Yeah, they're really good for that. Like, those are cool. Yeah, I mean, I actually think I actually uh, somebody actually I think had them at, on the Denver good, the, Den, the Denlog uh, the Denlog uh, lug bolt last year, the year before. So I actually ordered uh, which was it more of them. So I have a bunch. Because that's like I use uh, headlight bricks and uh, round clear plates and stuff like that, and I can make everything. I can make the guys in the jetpacks look like they're kind of flying. So definitely very nice pieces to use for stuff like that. So oh, this is a function. All right, all right, I see. I see where you're going. With it. I don't know what this place is or where it's based. It looks like a desert. Like it honestly looks like a desert. That's like a base. M Lego, what are you working on? Um, I'm not really working on anything right now. Oh, okay. Never mind. I guess. But I built this this week. It's a telescopic boom. Yeah. So, yeah. I really like it how it turned out. Well, Hammond said he ordered a hundred off of uh, Lug Bulk this year. It sounds like because if they ship out this year, I mean, uh, it should ship because Bama, um, the uh, guys in uh, Nebraska, I think, have already got theirs. Been invoiced and already got theirs already. Oh, there's a Nebraska Lego users group. Yeah, uh, Nathan Flood isn't Nathan Flood. I think he's in. I think he's in. Uh, isn't he in the one down there? I believe so. Didn't he get the, or is he low lug? Isn't low lug? Isn't that the one Lincoln Omaha? Yeah. So he's oh, in low yeah, lug. Yeah. Yep. yep. So, he had that presentation, yeah. uh, the last virtual brick world, which I heard was really good. Yeah. So I think I'm pretty sure I heard, I heard somewhere that he had, you know, he had mentioned somewhere that they had actually gotten there. So my seen on Facebook, I think I might saw it on Facebook, like April to Facebook or somewhere that they'd gotten there. So, and so, yeah. So, I mean, but I mean, it's my, they might've put it in real early too. So, but, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's low log. I mean, they're right in the middle of the pack. I mean, you know, you don't, I don't think we ever really know the order that they do it. So, but I mean, most people, I think, we're still hoping to do it. I mean, you know, it's one of those things where I I like the I like the program. I'm part of the yeah. I'm part of the Whistlug uh, committee that we're trying to look at it. Uh, yeah, I ordered some of the pumpkin pieces, the red pumpkins that like go over the that can go over the minifigure heads. Yeah, those I ordered. Uh, I think I don't know how many of those, but I know I ordered them because they rewatching Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. They, Wonka's got a bunch of the things that look like pumpkins so I'm gonna probably one hundred percent put those in there once they once I get them. Yeah. Right in there. No question about it. Definitely one of the things that's uh def uh, yeah that's what we're kinda of looking at. We we're looking at a lot of that stuff recently. So it's kinda of cool. This thing's cool. Just looking at how the the program works and all that. So. Oh, we got the Jawa guns. In the side. Oh, look at that. Police station. I got the bad guy truck. Bad guy. Uh, yeah, this is. I think this is a bad guy. Wonder Woman, 1984. Yeah, probably. He's Bruce Wayne's torso. I think he's also. This torso is also in a Jurassic, the big pan Jurassic World set. I don't know what that one's called, but I know it's. I think oh, it's okay. later. Moto didn't see that moto sitting for you. See you, moto. Have a good night. We'll catch you later. Night, moto. All right, let's see here. Um, later, moto. See you, moto. If you're still on. 
Like, it sounds like Mr. Hinkle is back. I am back. I don't know how long I'll I'll stay on, but I'm back for a little bit. Sounds good. I'm start. I'm starting to feel the uh, old, old man slumber is is tickling my ears. Uh, yeah, it kind of it comes and goes for me a little bit. It's, you know. you first start sleeping the ears. Just put that piece. <sighs> See, Bama says Kevin needs a cure, and the only cure is more cowbell. <laughs> you got a fever? Do I? No. Sorry, I was I'm... referencing the Saturday Night Live sketch. Oh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, uh, I watched that show. That's like good. Have you seen the one where it's, uh, I think it's Chad, but he stays at home and he sings about it? Nope. It's pretty funny. Hmm. I watched the Chad ones are pretty funny. Have you, have you seen any of the Chad ones? No, I haven't seen a lot of Saturday Night Live recently or in a while. Uh, yeah, because the Gilly ones are good. The uh, where Shallon's pretty funny. Uh, who else do I watch? Uh, Chad. Um, I haven't seen – I've seen a little bit, but I haven't seen, like, any – like of the really good ones that people are talking about. I'm like, yeah, I've seen these so few. <laughs> oh. All these pieces are printed. These gold pieces. They're printed? Oh, hold yeah. on. Let me, uh, let me put you on the big screen here. That's what yeah. I was curious about. Yeah. They're like uh, these. Put your hand behind it. Door so panels. Put your hand behind the piece. Oh, okay. Whoop. Uh, I do that. Uh, I'm so confused about Flawless it. execution. <laughs> that, looks pretty, that looks pretty good. Does it yeah. look like is it like a shine? Is it a shiny gold then on there? Oh, yeah, piece? I got an idea. Yeah, I'll put it on this piece. There we go. Wow, there we go. Uh, so my light. There we go. It's it just, just keeps getting better and better. You're gonna have yeah. like special effects on the next upgrade. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the next one gonna add five more lights. <laughs> It's nice. Yeah. I think that – and there's a bunch of them. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wasn't well, that with the, uh, what's on the antenna? Yeah, it's the big thing. Or the radar uh, dish or whatever? Yeah, it's on the huge radar dish on the back of the box. They kind of did this box like they do the inside sets, I think. Oh. Because this is what you see when you go to the store. And then you got to flip it around to see. Oh, that's the set. So it reminded me of the of the. I was gonna say Overwatch, but I'm like, no. Um, can we have a, Can we have some F's in the chat for this? For what? <gasps> oh no. no. F's in the chat. Oh. Mm. I'll put an F in one. You know what's funny is I was I was literally seconds away from saying I'm kind of playing with fire, taking all these reddish brown plates apart. I was like, I was just a to little bit too much spark there, Kevin. I think. Yeah, I run the one by four reddish brown tiles I've got. I picked them up off the wall at the at the Lego store, and those are the ones I run into the most problems with. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. I think we need a. I think we need a moment of silence. Not to be so cavalier about it, Kevin. <laughs> Not to be so. <laughs> I'm just. I'm like you know. Hey. No, it's not even. Uh, it's not even old brown jam. It's, 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 yeah, sure. This is the new reddish brown, and it's not old. I mean, it's not an old part. I've. It's a. Uh, really. Shiny factory fresh. What did you get it in? Oh, Reed, I, oh, I, don't, I don't. I don't I, I, I bought it. Uh, how, how fresh is factory fresh? Is that a brand new part that you got this year? Is it or is it from the bad reddish brown run from however many years ago? All right. I don't know. <laughs> well, you led me to believe there was no, now another issue with the, with the pieces with the new 
factory fresh run, which just meant <laughs> you haven't handled it much yet. I only say that because like most of my collection has been like unused or unplayed right. with. Once this I is what I won on eBay from an auction. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Kevin's favorite theme. Oh goodness me! Is that the sheriff's lockup? Yep. And I have the box and the instructions. Can you it. can you we get it? Can we get this young man on the big screen so he can show us how you break the guy out of the jail cell? Yes. Oh my god, I love this part. Okay. Um. So, in the nineties, this was the stick of dynamite. That's it, right there, folks. This is it, folks. Yep. This is this is we're... this is literally my favorite Lego set play feature from my entire childhood. So let's really? see. I'm let's not even kidding. I'm not kidding. Let's see. Hold on, I gotta set it up over here. So I don't oh, uh, the uh, Forestman's outpost that had the, the entire roof that opened and had this, the shifting brick wall is probably my favorite. Where the hell is my bag too? The the product designer who worked on the Ninjago City, I think. Is that did that set have an ATM where it like spits out money? All right. right. So uh, he told me that come, he, he you come around here and then, uh, you take this nice. the one by two plate or which is called dynamite. Yep. And make it happen, man. Boom. Pull him out of there. That's the wow. Thing. That, that is absolute. You can bust the guy out. And I think this is a junior's door, if I'm not mistaken. That's the old junior's door. Oh, now, that's the that's the um that's the the jail cell from the. That showed up in the Black Monarchs Castle and the Forbidden Island or whatever it was called, the first Pirate Island. Oh yeah. I don't think there yeah, was really what, it was all, that's what all the uh, pirate of the jail cells used to look like before they started making the because there wasn't really any like junior eyes lines oh. at that point, was there? Yeah, because there no. was like uh, Jack Stone and then there was a couple Spider Man sets. This was pre Jack Stone. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I was talking uh, I was talking to the product designer. And I still have not built Ninjago City. I have it sealed and built it. Yeah, but me too. I was talking to him about it, and he was like, he goes, oh, are you – like I was talking about Western, and he's like, the play feature with the dynamite, and you put it in, and I was like, yeah, that was one of my favorites from my childhood too, so I made sure to put something similar in the Ninjago City set. And I was like, the oh, that's right. Under the desk. Nice. Yeah. Red shirt cowboy. <laughs> he's pretty that's cool. the deputy. The deputy, yes. And – um. Uh, I got the sheriff. The no. sheriff. Look at him. Awesome. Yeah, I've got that set. I am Look so at that guy. Cool. And then I got the two uh, bad guys. So you got uh, this guy who's the good at uh, poker. I guess. He's, he's the gambler. That the guy's name is, uh, his official Lego canonical name is Dewey Cheatham. Do, okay. And then this is uh, uh, on the posted note or on the wanted poster. Yeah, uh, that's Flatfoot Thompson. That's Flatfoot Thompson, yeah. And then uh Black isn't Black Bart the yep. big the Black Bart, you got it. Sweet. I, I'm I am i am gonna order Black Bart soon. I'll, 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 share, I'll, I'll share a laptop like uh share stuff to Kevin. Wait, my laptop? Oh Kevin's. Oh. Wait, what did you ask me? How well does your laptop uh sh you know like share? Like if you do share screen and stuff, do you does it share video pretty well and all that? I think so. It's pretty selfish. I've never done uh, done it on my. Well, you know, I'm just you know since we're talking western, you know, I you know what I would love to see right now, you know, played, you know, would be pretty awesome, you know. What What are you gonna plan? You know, because Kevin's got something pretty sweet that he probably should, you know, since we're talking about oh, western. Are you talking about my film? I have it. I still haven't unprivated it. You You have what? Are you talking about the film? Yeah. It's still I still haven't unprivated it. It's still sitting in private. Ah, oh, see that's what I'm saying. I can't find it anymore. Yeah, it's there. <laughs> you just can't find it. Uh what's going on, Howie? Hey Howie. Uh what's the set name? I that set name is uh Sheriff's Lockup. Six seven five five is the set number. And I do have the box and the instructions to it. So good man, good man. Was that an <laughs> Uh, that it's a seller from uh, the seller attached to them. And I messaged him, hey, do you got Fort Lego Rito? And he hasn't gotten back to me. Was that eBay? Where'd you get that? Uh, eBay, yes. eBay's the place. 
Yes. Because Bricklink will charge a little bit more than what I wanted to pay for it. So I was like, let it go. Because uh, I've, I've gotten some pretty good scores through eBay. With, like, it says with the boxes and the instructions. Like the Spider Man uh, Studio set, the Green Goblin one. Um, no box, but I did get the Origin set. Are you a big Lego Western fan? I, I just have the one set uh, and a couple figures, but I do like the theme. Yeah, I want more of it. I just want the Fort Lego Red on that. I think that's it. Okay. But I do like the theme a lot. It's so, a no. So, that's going to be a no. <laughs> All right. It's all good. Even though I only want two sets of it so far. Like I don't know. What 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 about it? Like drew you to to the, like I mean because if you're not like a big Western cowboy, oh, fan, here. This like is what, what was it about it? This is what drew me to it. Um, Lego has not and probably in my lifetime will never do a theme based on this video game. Sure, probably. So I was like, sure. I'm Lego that will represent what um. What this game is, so okay, drew me to Western. I got you, and because I thought it was a pretty cool theme, and I was like, I've been wanting that set since uh last year, Christmas time. I wanted it, yeah, and I found that set with Fort Legorado, uh, at the same seller, and uh, I missed out on it, so I was like, no, come on. And welcome back to talking with Brick Freak 3 at his desk. Yes, I'm currently uh, building <laughs> Wonder Woman 1984 set. I don't even know. What, Wonder Woman versus Cheetah. Okay, that's what this set's called. I just bought it because it was different. It was DC, so I was like... Oh. Uh, Bama Brick says, I wonder if LEGO will ever come back out with the Western set. So they I were they were planning. They were planning a homegrown Western uh, uh, wave, and then the Disney Lone Ranger movie came about, and so then they... they Reverse two up, showed up. They kind of rebranded it and made it Lone Ranger. Darn. Um, but I do think that maybe in a few more years, uh, or maybe more, maybe a decade, um, it yeah. might pop back in in some way. Kind of like the rebranding of the uh, the Pirate Island idea set into a sure pirate set. Yeah. 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 Because I think it's another one of those kind of safe, homegrown IPs to explore. You think Western's safe still? Uh, I mean, compared to a lot of other things, I don't know. Maybe not. Oh, I mean, compared to their Riot Police sets line and their... Uh... Some Riot Police sets. Right. <laughs> there yeah. are some sets, right? With, like, Riot Shields. Aren't like they're right? gonna come out with the Western theme again. I want a saloon. Uh, Lone Ranger. Oh, you could have gotten Brick or uh, Lapard saloon. That was a nice saloon. Better yeah, than like a saloon. Make a saloon? Do you think? What do you? What do you think the odds are that we can legitimately finish the entire stream only looking at Brick Free? Do you think it's high? <laughs> <laughs> be pretty funny. Uh, apparently very very low apparently quite low oh, good i love it hello everybody welcome to my desk oh welcome that's all you want to 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 yeah. it's all broken marios and links mario said oh mama mia oh that's not very focused is it oh there we go a little bit different action going on. Yeah, it's a good shirt. It's oh, good. that's awesome. Oh, thank you for putting the F in the private chat uh, in Lego. <laughs> you are very welcome. Are you wearing a mask under, like, is that under your neck? Is that a mask? No, Reed's a cowboy. Oh, he's a cowboy. <laughs> is he going to bring back the Western theme and be the uh, uh, Western hero that we all need? Yeah. <laughs> Or could he be uh, one of uh, Flatfoot Thompson's secret gang members in disguise? Uh, Jan's Lego Studio. I like the old Western line. It had a certain feel to it being simple like the old structures. Who still remembers the Bricklink AFL designer saloon set? I do. I have one sealed. I've not built it yet. Yeah, I was considering it, but I never pulled the trigger on it. It, it, it was the only one I did pull the trigger on. Yeah, it was the only one I was considering. I didn't really want any of the rest of them. 
I like the 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 Lego story one. That's the and, one I have. And uh, it looked pretty cool. Um but uh I the, the cost. I was like I can really only afford one of these. It looks like you get a bunch of I think are these Lego movie guns? That was a saloon. Wasn't it more? Those are a uh, dial. Oh hunting. no. How much was the saloon? 150. We need another we need another F in the chat. Uh-oh. Huh? Why am I up? Why? Oh. See, I've only really run into it with the one by fours and then a couple of the plates. Not like you're running into it. Weird. I mean, it's pretty common. I watched like a. Uh, I've lost um, a couple. I've actually had some clear plates. Actually, had some issues too. I have a, had a uh, this piece. Hold on, let me. Sh I'll show it. Yeah, great. Yeah. Clear ones are just been defective. They just. I, I watched like, like they just don't work. this piece snap in half. I've watched a decent amount of Lego streamers on uh, Twitch and YouTube and like Brick and Nick, who's mostly on Twitch. He's up in Toronto. He breaks so many uh, reddish brown plates all the time that he has a little segment in his stream where he'll he'll turn the camera. Uh, he'll make it black and white. <laughs> and it'll be like sad music while he shows you the broken piece. Who can say whatever that song is? Uh, how many do I have left to take apart? Uh, so I'm, I'm finishing this one, and then I've got one more, and then I got to sort all this back. Uh, oh, back well, let me know when you make that Ace is Wild on private. Yeah, I'm proud of it. I I, I only did that because I didn't know what the whole Coppa stuff was going to go. So I just I privated everything that was on my channel. And I was like, let me figure out what Coppa is going to do, and then I'll figure it out. Well, the Coppa is going to say we're doing Western. I wanted to play that, or have you play it? Because it fit in so well with the, uh, with the. Uh, <laughs> this time we got we got Dude Jude and Brick Freak with the F's in the chat. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you, gamers. Thank you, gamers. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kevin, because you're an artist, I would like to know: out of ten, what would you rate this tree? Came and see it. Can you? Um. Uh, mm. So it's an existential question. Oh. I cannot really see it at all. Uh, That's a really nice phone, though. <laughs> nope, that doesn't help. You almost like email it to yourself and then share your screen that way, or something. I think you should print it out and then fax it, <laughs> uh, and, then, yeah. and then scan the fax printout and then email that. Email the fax printout. Email the fax. You know the facts. The facts of life. So I think I told you guys a couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago. Time is irrelevant right now. Um, that I started watching for the first time in my life, The Twilight Zone. Mm. Bits of that show. And I'm in school though. And I'm finally at. Uh, I finally hit season two. Season one was 35 episodes, which was kind of crazy. Um, and pr uh, every single episode in season one up to the very last one, uh, the host, the narrator, Rod Sterling, never appears in it. And I'd never seen the show. And so I, in my mind, I'm like, isn't there some guy that's supposed to like show up at the beginning and the end of every episode and like set it up for me? I feel like Arl Stein did that with Goosebumps. Right, and and also like when you think of the Twilight Zone, you think of the theme song, right? That's what everyone thinks about. Like, da -na 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 -na. Uh, but there was never there was, highway. there was never a theme song, and uh, I finally hit season two, and now the theme song is there, and the narrator comes at the beginning and the end, and I'm like, oh, I, I was just, that, huh? I thought it was just kind of fascinating that the the show had its whole first season. Like the way I think of the Twilight Zone, never having seen it in my life was only really a thing in season two and beyond, like season one. Well, but that happens with a lot of shows where the first season will be quite a bit different or there'll be a different actor in a key role or... Sure. I think it happens more than you'd expect with, with older shows. I mean, yeah. not as much nowadays, because wasn't... Was Star Trek just the pilot had a different Captain Kirk or was it the first season was a different Captain Kirk? Yeah, uh, it was... Uh, so the original series was the pilot had a different... Yeah, so... That's funny, writer, I started watching the original series in order 
like I'm binge watching it. So it's good to see how you know, like Bones wasn't in like the first couple of episodes, and there was some other doctor guy, and yeah, yeah. If you thought staring at a desk was boring, <laughs> <laughs> I can't see what. What are we laughing about? I tried saying uh, something. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. It's good. This is what keeps everybody paying attention. Well, if M. Lego, if you want, I can put you in the in the green room and add uh, jams for a little bit if you want. Uh, I'm going to oh, go yeah, and leave. That'll, that'll so okay. you, I'm going to leave. Okay. You can keep, going, you can oh. keep spotlighting M. Lego symbol. That's fine. <laughs> but thank you. No, thanks for having me. Bye. You guys have a wonderful Mother's Day. Spoiler, spoil yourselves. Yeah, yeah, we will. We we are going to support ourselves and not our mothers. That's that's the way it works, right? That's how you do it. Yep. Bye, dude, dude. Bye, everyone in chat. And I guess See butt you. chop. I still there. I guess butt chop. Okay, I have the picture of a tree pulled up. Okay, cool. So, here. That's cool. cool. I see. I see nothing. But okay. Are you guys yeah, I'm sharing screen now. Oh, you gotta uh, approve a screen share. Oh, George is here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Is there a way to tilt it or no? Uh, I don't know. Did you draw it? <laughs> Yes, on a whiteboard during science oh, class. I was actually about to say, is that on a whiteboard? Because it kind of has that texture of, of dry erase markers. It's pretty cool. Yeah. The leaves, too. I mean, that's a lot so, of time. That's a lot of time in those leaves. Yeah, I was supposed to be doing something else during class, but I was just drawing this. You were doing that? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to be doing something else, but this was so much more fun. What's the, uh, oh, is the black thing on the bottom, is that your signature? Yeah. Okay. I was like, is that a worm or is that a snake? It's a worm. <laughs> okay. So out of 10, what would you give it? Out of 10? Oh, put me on the spot, huh? Um, what are you going for? Are you going for realistic or cartoony or what? What's your what the desired style? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Well, cause see, that makes a difference. If like, if you're like, I'm going for a photo realistic tree, then I'm like, no, then it's not a ten. I mean, not photo realistic, but like realistic cartoonish, maybe. Okay, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'd kind put of it like up in there. between. I, I, I would. Let's see. I'd give you a solid seven. Okay, thank you. You're quite welcome, and you can also sign up for my course on Udemy. <laughs> I do not have to what are you going to teach us? Well, you have to let me know, Kevin, if you, you know, on that on that virtual brick world, if you need help at all or whatnot. So. Oh, yeah. We're doing the test run tomorrow. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm still kind of undecided how I want to go about it. Do I want to set up my tablet and just draw digital for six hours, or do I want to draw by hand and use the markers and pens? I mean, there is a, a plus to doing it uh, physically because a lot of people like to buy the physical artwork. You could do a mixture of both. I could. That's I've thought of that too, like maybe doing a certain – like an hour on and then an hour off and then an hour on and an hour off. <laughs> Yaw, yaw. Did you guys ever watch the old Goosebumps like episodes? Um, some yeah. of them. Some of them. Yeah, I watched um about like I I I remember watching them when I was younger. I remember going to Family Video and renting them. That's what it's about, man. That's the dream. Because that was a thing, and it still is. I'm surprised. Because everything you can just download, like download and digital now. Yeah, I guess for those people who want the nostalgia of going to the movie store and picking out the movie. Or... My scary stuff that I watched when I was a kid was uh, "Are You Afraid of the Dark" on Nickelodeon. 
Well, isn't that guy the same guy who does oh, this? Love that. I don't know. I swear that's no. I think there was something else. The haunting hour. I'm. I think I'm. That's what I'm thinking. Of. Carl finds the haunting hour. That's what. It is. <laughs> Dude, you says when is your master class? Yep, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I thought he was saying when, when is your mater class? I was like, what? What are you? What are you doing with mater? Mater. Mater, <laughs> mater from cars. From room. Larry, you have got a really nice clean desk there. I think you need to make a mess on there. I just cleaned up my desk for flipping time. <laughs> you want to do some show and tell? Oh, I can put you on the big screen, I suppose. You have to accept the consequences, though. You will now be on it for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the next 30 minutes. Front it. <laughs> All right, so here, I'm done with this guy. He is looking pretty angry. Wow. That's cool. That's an owl bear. An owl bear? You guys ever, ever doing uh, anybody play Dungeons anymore, but there's an owl bear. Interesting. So what's this the, week, what's the theme? Uh, what's the theme for the contest? Uh, just to do a brickhead. See if I can hold this base a little bit better. Oh well, yeah, I was just like, I'll be like a monster from Dungeons and Dragons, and this an owl bear is one of them. That's very. Uh, I mean, it may be Dungeons and Dragons, but it's also very Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, kind of. Because they, you know, they fu they always fuse two different animals together in the show. I did not know. That. I think D and D did it first. <laughs> no, well, I I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Okay, so here. I'll bring this week's. So I'll show you last week's. Oh, this is just cool. That, I like this. <laughs> so last week's set was. Oh, of course they. Ooh. Is that a thing? In, a castle in the sky or something? Pretty much. So it was the build challenge was to do a micro castle or palace. Pretty good. And you won. And then I went a little bit overboard. <laughs> Did you win? Yeah, I got amazing. No, it's a seat. Uh, yes, I got second place. Hmm. I have finished my set. Looks like a lot of looks like you made some good use of some of the ice cream on there, that's for sure. Tons of ice cream. Now, hey, can you help me build can you help me do that with Hope Castle, maybe? Can we try and do that with Hope Castle, maybe? What suspend it up in the air? Yeah, just like that. <laughs> like that. <laughs> with this with, thing uh, is so watch this. This thing is uh, uh, Okay, maybe it's, um, and this is how I started. This is the piece I started with, with an ice cream cone on top. Nice. Oh, nice! Isn't that set from? Isn't that piece from one of the Lego Movie sets? I don't know what it's from. I, I just had it. Like, it like a, yeah, it's a. I think it's an old Power Miners drill original. Yeah, that's what, and then they recolored yeah. it a bunch of times. Yeah, it's a drill. in the Underminer set because I've got that. Probably yeah. part of the Rock Rock Raiders. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rock Raiders. Yep. Yeah, that's because that's when the first drill. Yeah, I think power happened. Miners might have used it. I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, power power Raiders, Raiders did use that a lot. I think. I think Rock Raiders was the one theme behind it. That was that was pretty good, Larry. Are you done with your show and tell? No, one more. Okay. So the week Check before, it. and re I was doing this. Try to do this before they give me crap again. You know. <laughs> Even though it's my show, but you know, hey. <laughs> Readers will be my show. I yes, do okay, the person did correct me. It is in the Lego movie. Or I guess agree would be the right word.
As soon as uh, Larry shows off this next thing, I'm going to head out, Reed. What? Yeah, I know. It's that time. That time to actually get some sleep? What? It's that time. What time is your walk? Why would you walk for a while? Ooh, that's a good question. I, it's either 11 or 12. Yeah, the color drill was uh, brick orifices from the ice cream truck in the Lego movie. That's true, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, that's what I did. Probably going to compare helicopters, too, because I don't think this helicopter can be quite as good as that one I built. Helicopter. Oh, is that true? What? Oh, that is awesome. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. I remember you building that and saying, am I doing too much? Pardon? Oh, no, wait. That, that one was totally into this. We had to do an aquatic vehicle, so I did this, this submarine, this manta ray submarine. That Where is you, really cool. Where did you place for the, with that one? Oh, I won. Okay. And then that I got was, just that was bit. great. I just I remember you. I remember you so many times. You're like, this is too much. <laughs> yeah, it was. Too much. I like everything about it, but that's really awesome. Do you have like so a? And for it, I want to put the interior in there. So, I'm not ready to take it apart yet. Make that all black and then put Mr. Incredible on it, and it's Syndrome shit from The Incredible. Well, check this out. <laughs> Seriously, it's, it's, it's a manta ray. That's what his ship is. Uh, I take the tail off now. What does it look like? A bat. Ah, a bat wing? Yeah, I was like, I, I just had it upside down. I'm like, wait a minute. That's a great big bat. That's good stuff. Copyright strike. All right, everybody. I'm going to head out. As always, a pleasure and a delight. Kevin, catch you later. Have a good night. Have a good night, Kevin. See you Friday. It's almost, I think it's a half an inch short of a three foot wingspan. Nice. I finished my uh, set for the night. Well, it's nice. I'm, I'm whatever. I'm still working on my sets. This is nuts. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I haven't even got to the police station yet. Yeah? You're still in the vehicles, Reed? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what I find weird is at the top, it's got this red piece. I don't, it, there's no extra gun. I guess they would have given you an extra gun to put there, but there's nothing to put there. There's mm -hmm. nothing that I can think of, unless her last Wonder Woman's lasso. And it's like a clip. I don't know why they wouldn't just use a one by two piece or like a. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this, but I think that's just kind of weird. Like that they just leave that open. You're overthinking it. I think so. Unless it's in the movie, like a big red piece. Big red Lego is in the movie. Maybe. That would be kind of funny. And, and then this looks like a movie. It's a, basically a television studio. Oh, is that what that is? Cool. Yeah, in the back. Let's see. Actually, here, I'm going to put you a big screen. I want to okay. see the uh, I want to see the panels. The panels. Oh, about. yeah. They're, they're stickers, but they're. Well, no, no, no. The, the, the other ones you showed earlier. The other oh the, this and it spins yeah yeah because uh, brick orphanage was asking if those were printed or if they were stickers and yeah, you said they're printed, printed. which I, I get because this is like 16 17 18 of them I think in the set and that's I mean that's a fair amount of good ones if they're especially if they're if they're printed yeah that's a lot that makes How's it better. Yeah. Huh? How's the print quality on those? I think it's I I would guess pretty good. I mean, I, I'm not uh I know a lot of Legos prints lately. It's like the prints have been like off to one side of the like tile or oh by like a significant amount. Well, I think it's pretty sh like center. Center. Yeah, that's right. And it came with movie or film camera. Which I think is pretty cool because I have a couple of the I've got the big studio set, the Steven Spielberg one, which is sealed, it's in my closet. And then I've got the Dino Chomp one. 
I like the uh, I like the one they did the brick world kit the one year. But here we're gonna co we're gonna compare something real quick. So this is the helicopter that came with the. Uh, I'm gonna make myself solo. So this is the helicopter that came with the police station in 2017. Not bad, not bad. Here's the police helicopter from 2009. Uh, just saying. I like better. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more substance. Here. I mean, you know, room. Like, yeah. you know, this is a small one. I mean, this is probably a little bit. You fit one guy in the other one. You could fit probably two guys if you tried hard enough in the second one. Uh, no, but I mean, you if you if you tweaked it, you probably could. Yeah, that's it. This one, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna trust the. Yeah, the the you're gonna get taken out. I'm not pretty. trusting the pilot with that thing. <laughs> he might. He might fall out. Yeah. Yeah. He always go. Yep. Yep. Well, see, and it, I mean, that was the thing is, I mean, I bought tons of this stuff. So, I mean, I got, I think I, I brought another one. I only built the one. I think I brought two. I think I have like five. So, I mean, I bought lots of cool stuff like that back in the day. I mean, I mean, when I start building city sets, I mean, I could build city sets until, I don't know, 2020, 2022 probably and still not get through them all. So, very Did nice to print through them. line of so many stickers. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, you know, we've seen stickers on some stuff like the uh, the mayor ships and all that. So yeah, here's one of them. This flying across. The nice to not have to do that many stickers, you know. Well, what's, what's the next book? Next book must be. Oh, we start the building. I don't know if I'm ready to do that. What time is it? 10:30. Might be a shorter one. Uh, yeah, the color drill was in the ice cream truck, and like, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, those. I mean, those will be interesting to see. Actually, you know, we can do. Real quick, because now I got this new RAM in my machine. I can actually probably. I think this is Peter Parker's face. Huh? I think this is Peter Parker's face from Spider Man. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I mean, or it's banana, or it could be the banana guy. But I think the eyebrows are for from Parker to this guy. I think the eyebrows are a little bit down. It looks kind of angry. Might be a new face print, but the back face is the exact same as Peter Parker. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's a misprint. I don't know. <laughs> but the eyebrows look a little down than what they were. Wow, that's interesting. Wonder Woman or slash Wonder Woman 1984, which is that? That doesn't make any sense. That's okay. Yeah, I think it's a pre. It might be a uh, um, uh, origin story. No, I think the Wonder Woman was an origin. Story. I don't know. I haven't seen Wonder Woman. Um, uh, but I think it's like a pre a prequel to one. Yeah, they're they're online right now. Somebody's got them for twenty cents a pop. For those for those tiles. Oh yeah. The, well, it's funny they take the picture that actually shows like uh, like white edging, like almost like it looks like a sticker, almost maybe, which is kind of bad or a bad print job on it. So I mean that's not bad. I mean some of these some of these guys have a lot, so they probably bought the sets thinking that would be the big piece. So mm -hmm. definitely interesting to see. I mean, interesting to see how well that piece does. I mean it looks pretty cool. Probably could use it. I mean that would actually be nice. Now does that gold look more like a, does it look like the pearl or is it kind of like more like a metallic gold on that? I mean in terms of the stick or the print, what does it look like when you look at it? Does it look more like yeah. a metallic. Kind of like uh, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it does look like a metallic type thing rather than a light here. Show them like, that I'm trying not to blind you guys, but like no, you're fine. It's kind of it like, like more like a metallic, metallic yeah. gold type kind of thing. Here, here's the gold key. Oh, that's the pearl. Yeah, so it does look like a metallic. So mm -hmm. that's good. that's I'm glad. Yeah. That. So it'd make it'll like a really nice print on like a floor or something, you know? Yeah, I could see it. Kind of, well, it would be a pretty wobbly floor because it's like. Well, have uh, we? Oh yeah, we did. We had the we had actually that would be a nice. Oh, it's got that on the back. Oh, that's, yeah. That's it, not well. You're gonna have to do. You could do that with a fake floor, and since mm -hmm. a lot of people are switching, uh, since a lot of people, or not a lot, not everybody, but a lot of people are going to mills. You could actually put bars underneath your floor and yeah, actually make a small floor with those and actually put it in a bank or something. Be yeah, pretty Wonder cool. Woman fig. Which, whoops, uh, she's got a new hairpiece, which is pretty cool. Over, over mm -hmm. She's got, fat, like, I think those are Falcon's wings. No, they're not. No, that's Vulture's wings. It's, it's one piece, though, right? Yeah, it's the one piece. 
you know, probably it probably something almost. I wonder if they maybe took the one from like Pharaoh's Quest and tweaked it. Yeah, this is, I think this probably is. Yeah, I think it is the same mold. Yeah, it looks like it. it's like a helmet with like hair sitting out the back. Yeah, they're starting to do a lot more of that, which is interesting. But her hair kind of sticks out, I think, too far. It's got a little gap. But I think that's supposed to be like that, just so it doesn't like snap. Like, so get it? But I don't think that it is. Oh, you know what? Let me, let me see that piece. You know what? I think that is. That's the same. Yeah, that that is the turn it towards the back. So we see the back of her. Yeah, I think that's the same exact piece of the uh, Pharaoh's Quest. And they just took it and made it just gold yeah, instead of. I know the, it's the same piece as Vulture and the Pharaoh's Quest Pharaohs. Yeah. But well, well do that I know of. I, don't I, know. I opened about yeah, I got one of the things up here right now, actually, from the Ferris Quest. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, I actually had uh yeah, it's I opened, the next, I opened the like bleh. That's the exact figure I have. Yep. I opened between five and ten of those of the battle pack for the my my army of those guys. Because they were the first inhabitants of the castle, was those guys. I had a bunch of them. I wonder if you weren't going to be able to kill the guards of a castle 30 dead. So 30 dead, you can't kill them. So. For those of you curious, I'm building the Boba Fett helmet. Oh, but that's cool. Uh, hey, now, do you have a – so you're, are you on the uh, next virtual brick world? Are you doing the spaceship in your room? or are you got a room for that? And Mark never got back to me about it. Oh, he didn't yet? I uh, – I think when he first announced it, I sent him an email, and I haven't heard anything yet. He's okay. quite busy with other stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah I'm sure he's busy, though. Yeah. Okay. I yeah, just I didn't, I didn't know, so. Zoom for Zoom's in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Well, I was just checking, so cool. I'm just trying to see how I'm trying to plan the uh, – I'm trying to see for for June – I don't know if I can eat fireworks, but I might do the like a uh, castle collab, you know, with the Hope Castle. That way, I'm not all kind of by myself this next time around. So, Reed, are you gonna uh, get the cheetah, get the Wonder Woman and cheetah set to get a bunch of cheetah to put in your castle to chase Kevin? Well, I might. Yeah, I might just look and see. Actually, I should have done that while I was on there to see. Because the cheetah figure, I, I, I mean, I don't know what. Well, I have the comic book version of Cheetah. I just don't. I just don't know if the, the figure is great, but like, yeah, she's not bad. How much was the set? Thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five. It's forty on Lego.com. I say go to Walmart and get. Yeah, it. she's about seven bucks. Oh, that's not bad. Like, yeah. Well, um, yeah, because the gold, the some of those, some of those other pieces will probably be pretty good. Yeah. Well, the Wonder Woman might be. You know, let's see how much he's going for. Well, they see they've got her at. Uh, they've got her at almost twelve to thirteen. Sir, and seriously. Yeah. That's a lot. That's cool. With the wings, yeah. Well, I mean that because it's probably, you know, the most desired fig. What, what about the well, guy? Well, in the it might be the something that they. I think he's in Maxwell Lord. Huh? Maxwell Lord is the guy in the suit. I looked it up on Bricklink. Uh, he's four. So four. Oh, that's not bad. Seven, 12. Well, seven, 12. That's 19. And four of 20. That's $23 just for figs. So that's not bad for. And you're only paying like four. Well, I mean, if you, if you, if you, well the, the goal is can you sell them for that much? So, I mean, I guess what you'd have to do is. You know, I guess you'd have to see is price guide. Have they sold any? Because it just came out. Yeah. Wow. They did. They've some. They've sold. Wow, crazy. Yeah, they sold so far. It says, well, it's the last six month sales. They've sold. The max price was twenty two. Minimum price was twelve forty five. Average is fifty like around fifteen. Wow. That's that's I have to. Oh my god, that, that's ridiculous. Um, Wonder Woman's hair on a, on a regular minifig, and it looks completely different. Like it looks okay. like it's not supposed to be there because the hair. 
I think the hair, if they just did the hair like it's flowing, I think that would be cool. Well, and that's kind of those things where it's just, but just like anything else, you don't know, you know. You know, but you talk to like Brick Orphanage. He's a he's a he's a Bricklink seller, and so is Brick Five and those guys. I mean, it's it's a matter of what can you get for it. You know? I mean, mm -hmm. I sold I've sold stuff on Bricklink too, and I mean, some of my poly bags that I got for a couple bucks went as high as sixty seventy dollars. But you know, right now they might even be higher than that. But the question is, is you know, I mean. I mean, you know, if they re-release something like that or whatever, you, and that's what the black people are saying right now is the problem is if you hold on to something too long, there's that chance that they could re-release it. You know, yeah, our Falcon. I mean, are some of the newer ones that much cooler? So, well, and like balance is probably high because it just came out and there's a shortage right now, and so that's why people are probably putting a higher value because they know if, let's say, the stores run out and somebody wants that figure for whatever. You know, I mean, they could they could get it. Yeah, like you said. Well, not so much right now, Bam. I mean, you just sell right now, or you know, sometimes around the holidays or the other time, stuff goes up. And you know what's the funny thing is, is this last year I didn't sell much on my Facebook Marketplace around Christmas. I sold a lot of it like after and stuff. I mean, I got a few people, you know, peeking right now at stuff, but yeah. I think the yeah. other problem. I got one thing on Facebook Marketplace. The rest of my stuff that I'm trying to get rid of is on Let Go. Well, the other problem too is if you, you know, the other thing too is when you have stuff out there. I mean, just like right now, I mean, because everybody, not everybody's working too. Is I might get a lowballed on a lot of stuff. Going well, you know, people thinking they can't afford, you know, really afford as much too. So that's why I'm not really trying to sell out of my stuff because it's got prices. My Facebook Marketplace, I I redid my ad. I need to add the. Uh, the dimensions kits they didn't get those done but i mean to me it's one of those things where i'm not really trying to really sell a lot because in the end it's like you know i don't really want people to spend stuff on stuff if they don't really want it and i also want to get my i want to get my value out. so that's kind of a kicker too is if if i sell it now yeah. some people might lowball me more than what i'm really willing to sell it for and that's Kind of the kickers it's, it's it's you know i mean but that's but lego's like that all the time you get you get you know i had a guy the other day says you know will you take 250 for the eiffel and i'm like well no i mean and technically for 250 if i was gonna sell for 250 i just keep it myself because i only paid i paid probably less than the 150 because it was a damaged one but i mean in the end it's like you know if i'm only going to make a marginal amount on it i'll hold on to it myself oh reed do now, you want to see the minion figures no, I'm good. I actually, I'm good. Um, but the one thing is, is I've actually technically got an extra set of instructions for the Eiffel Tower. So if I wanted to make it in, let's say, a different color, even if I sold that one, I could do that too. But the kicker is, I mean, it's, you know, because the figs will drop fast, probably settle out at 15 to 20 total for them. Yeah, I mean, I mean, once, I mean, I mean, now technically some people probably – you know, aren't getting, I mean, now, now contrary to everybody's belief, you know, cause they were talking about this last weekend that, you know, some Walmarts were, you know, cordoning off parts of the stores. Uh, I've talked to the people at the Walmarts I deliver and that's a, that's a city ordinance type stuff. So the Walmarts that were cordoning off parts of their stores, wherever that was in the country, based on those city ordinances, because where I've been delivering the whole Walmart's wide open. You can go anywhere you want. And so, yeah, the Walmart, when I go to right near my house, it's wide open. You can go wherever. I, well, think yeah, some cool, places, I think I don't know yet. Well, some places it just might be that, you know, because I've heard it a couple of times that there's just certain ordinances where certain places they just don't want. But perfect example, too, is here in Wisconsin, um, our, our Lego store is going to be doing curbside yet down in Minneapolis. The Lego store is open with 25% capacity. So, just like anything else, I mean, every ordinance is different and what are they willing to do and whatever. I mean, I still think it's one of those things where, uh, contrary to what the president believes, I don't think it's just going to go away. I think it, I think technically it could actually get worse. The problem I'm, the, the downfall I'm hoping that does not happen is that those of us that are essential that are in the food chain, if it gets bad or comes back and gets bad in another wave, is that it doesn't take all of us out. Because if you think yeah, it's I would, if, you, if you think it's bad with production down, you imagine what's gonna be like if it takes out all the all the delivery guys. Then it'll be really bad. That's gonna be bad because like um, I work retail and we have to and sometimes 
I don't do this all the time, but sometimes we have to move pallets, and those pallets come from trucks. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying is if, if I mean, that's the thing is, I mean, we're hoping, you know, nobody wants it to get bad, but, I mean, that could be the next problem is if it gets to the point where it does have a second or third wave. I mean, that's a possibility, and that would be really bad because then – then what would if, happen if if that that was, gone, then we're really in trouble. What would happen though if it comes back or whatever? Well, I mean that, and that's, I mean, I, I mean, until there's a vaccine, which they're saying could be a year, or eighteen months away. I mean, I mean, it's basically it's just like it's probably just like an old. It's just like some of the older flus, you know, and Spanish yeah. flu and stuff like that. It's one of those things where it's just you know the bodies just aren't used to it, and it's you know it's just I mean. Well, that's why everybody needs to do these masks. I mean, you should, if you're outside, if you're outside, you should be wearing a mask. I mean, it's just, it's as simple as that. I mean, it just, you know, pretty much. I mean, now, granted, you're wearing glasses. It kind of sucks because, I mean, in the end, I mean, your yeah, glasses you are know, up. I mean about that at, at where I work. Oh, so, it's fucking my glasses. And I'm like, yeah. yeah, it might be, yeah, the Lego store here at Mall America. Not, I mean, they're not, well, not yet. I mean, it's something where they might, it depends on what Minnesota's you know, what their policies are and stuff. I mean, in terms of the fact is, can they do, can, can they do curbside and stuff, but just like anything else with Legos, you know, resilient type, you know, online stuff. I mean, the only reason a lot of the stores are really all that great anyways for Lego these days is for the pick a brick and the bam. I mean, for those of us that are AFOLs that are building, I mean, the sets, we can get them all online and technically with this is as bad as they messed up the VIP system. Better off online, anyways, because you got to figure out how to frick to use your stuff, anyways. So, to me, I don't really like the new VIP system. How they get, I don't think anybody really likes it. I mean, it's, it's there you know, enter to win something. And I'm like, well, no, I'm not going to enter to win because then it's what if I don't win? Then I wasted my points. I'll just go if I want the figure, I'll go buy the figure. Well, and that's what I mean. A lot of people might do. I mean, it would it'd be interesting if they would do that, if they could do that with like the old put limits on it and do it with the old like GWPs, but they see the GWPs they have aren't as good as they used to when they had the poly bags and stuff. Yeah. I mean, extra poly bags and stuff. I mean, and stuff like that, I might be worth some points and whatnot to do that. And so, but to me, I guess we'll see. Reed, um, could, couldn't you use the VIP point towards like a set? What? Say you had like a, like 500 VIP points and a set was, um, I don't yeah, know. That's that's what you use it for. Could you use like 100 points and just get that set? Oh, no. I don't think they – well, they haven't done that in a while. They did that with the little VIP uh, – they did it with a VIP poly bag. So, so they had like a – they had one a, like last year or whatever, I think, that you could get via that. But they haven't done that in a while. I oh, mean, okay. they, you know, they – I don't have it. Yeah, they have it out in stores. Like they had a VIP, you know, poly bag Isn't type that thing. Probably like a really huge one. And it had like no. a like yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. It wasn't really huge, but it was a good size. It was larger yeah, than normal. That I meant. Like, yeah, it was larger than your normal poly bags. Yeah. Kind of cool. yeah. I'm just gonna look up something that yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna split for the night. I gotta actually get it early tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, there we go. M Lego's got it. Here we'll, we'll, yep, we'll show that's exactly here. what uh we were I was talking about. Yeah, you could you could order that through the uh, VIP. Okay, Larry. Catch you, man. Yeah, catch you guys later. Yeah, I might end it. I might not go super late today. I might want to do some gaming or something. So, but yeah, it's one of those things where I mean, that's. What game did you play, Reed?